I don't know if there's anything that I'm missing to set up here. Because it's been a while since I opened Fear and Hunger 2. So you can see. I hope everything is looking fine and nothing is gonna go wrong. Right? Game? Pretty please. Alright. Let's make this more lively. Let's see. One second. Let me place this one here. Actually, let me remove the background from that first. Let's make this more lively, you know. One second, guys. I am slowly waking up still because I gotta wake up, you know. Very, very important, you know, very, very important. Let's see, let me put this here. Now we go ahead, click here, and we shrink this so it fits better. Un segundo, un segundo. It's been a while since I played this, however, this cannot be that difficult from what I remember. Plus, I have some knowledge from Fear and Hunger 1. So it helps a lot. There you go. I look at that. I think that looks good, in my opinion. Maybe more to the right, probably. Like that, and then we'll make it slightly bigger. And there we go. We have a raccoon carrying. I wonder what else to show. I think that's fine, though, to be honest. It helps a little bit. Let's see. Let me read the chat now. This should be here. This should be here. Are they pinned? They don't seem to be pinned. They are pinned, though. The chat is pinned. Yeah. Okay. And this thing, so I can reach out. Okay. Kara, welcome. Uh, screw the bottom corporation. If you're having the best. Anyway, I think. CG9 Yee or Yee Yee. Hello. How's it going? What up? Welcome. Banicula. Welcome, Banicula. Holy Presser. I am not reading that. Well, that's a nice surprise. Hello, screw who. How's it going? Where he at? Eat a bit, you know. I just gotta wake up. Yeah. So it was a very disappointing day. I wanted to make an automa automatic cooker with campfires in Minecraft. And the only way to put them into the campfire was to do it manually, which ruins my plans. That sounds like a bitch. We're doing a Marco Master Run. Crazy. Well, Chungus, I, 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 uh, I, wa I was asked to make a Master Run for Marco. So here I am. I couldn't delay it any further. MGA Fag. How's it going? Would it? Well, I'd like to see someone complete Master Mode as Osa because it will probably be the hardest one. No. Osa is the hardest one? No. Osa is the easiest one to play through Master Mode. Thankfully. Like, does this water? I don't have my water here, but maybe later. Uh, do you want me to DM you the strategy, Raccoon? Maybe once I show you my strategy, I could compare it to yours and. It could be a lot more fun to go back to this based on the knowledge I have of Fear Hunger 1. So I got in some knowledge from it. Hello, Fang. Tell me a game, let's go. Some sausages. Hello, nice to see you. Can you raccoon? Yeah, this raccoon likes to sleep a lot. Hello, oh, hello Yanis. I like carrying raccoon so cute. I buy that. Maybe. <laughs> I think I didn't clean it that well, though, but I think it's fine. Look at it. Beautiful. This chat is working too. Nice. Hello, Sarah. Welcome, welcome. Holy moly, Sapphire. Hello, welcome. I'm waiting for my boss, and this is helping me pass time. Thank you for the hey, time, buddy. Thank you for being here, Barry. All right, let's check if everything is fine. All these filter effects. I don't remember this being a thing. I would put no to it. Message sounds. Yeah, sure. Static. Yeah, sure. Video effects. I cannot remove them, sadly. That is glitched. All right. So, Marco, huh? They call him the Margo, eh? Jose Jose. I cannot do that to him. You know his name is Marco. The only way to play Marco is a punch monster, absorb Marina's and Osa skill. I should probably record this so I can put this on my main channel to split it from my live stream stuff. In case I want to make a video over it. Robert. Because, as you all know, in three hours my internet usually dies, so I have to remake the stream. It's gonna be kind 
kind of awesome to do some stuff. The only way to punch Marco is a uh, punch man, sir. Keep character creation? No. Absorb Marina and Osa skill trees, maximize skill girls, affinity, and punch Kaiser into the living after spying double black smoke. Damn. <laughs> Marco cheese. Marco is kind of cheese, to be honest. Kind of too much of a cheese character, I think. Let's see. So, first we have this question. Let me check up on the uh, on the guide because I don't really remember what this is. However, it helps us a lot. Just check on the guide to see what the fuck this is. I know which f does what, right? But I don't know which decision gives me what exactly. Let's see. So first of all, we have steel. Steel is very good if you're planning to use a gun build or if you want to become a strong as fuck character near the end of the game. It helps a lot. Mm, it's a really good idea to go for. Look, picking if you don't want to rely on luck. You don't like you don't like luck. Well, lock picking is a really good idea. Also, it allows you to go through the sewers, which is a really good idea in the early game. Because if you have a small key, you cannot open the sewers. There's no way to get the sewers in any kind of way. And then honest gains you ten shillings, which well, that's the easiest way to just go for just money early, which is useless, mind you. But because I'm gonna demonstrate some way, some interesting way to play Marco, might as well go pickpocket. For the steel. Because why not? You know? Steel is really strong. Yep. Steel is really strong. Burglar allows you to to go through one path and on one path only, which is kind of the source. If you are like the, the option is for you to go through the path that you know. Now <clears throat> we have we can get strength, which is a top one. Train strength. We have mass, which is defense. This one. We have improved your footwork, which is two agility. And we have max 25 HP for the whole run. Now there's this uh, easy choice because of the fact that uh, strength, like physical damage, is nerfed in muscle mode. So having to go strength is not really a good idea per se. It doesn't really help at all. Defense doesn't really do much either because it's just two defense. You don't get much from it. Well, here there's two choices which are very much the ham and cheese. For example, if you go improve your footwork, you can get a small thing amulet and you will have an extra turn over every enemy in the game. Every single enemy in the game, you're gonna be having an extra turn against them. Well, HP is really good if you're doing challenges because most of the time challenges will force you into a situation where you have to lose HP in order to win. A fight so if you're doing a challenge train your stamina is really good but the best idea of course is agility because it also increases your evasion by a little bit but if you have 20 evasion you pretty much are invincible in this game or if you get one agility movement speed item then you're also really really fucking strong to be honest hello sandman how's it going Wood. just started telling me now. i don't know what to do i'm just wandering around aimlessly i have the way to go 125 HP becomes useless very soon. Not really. Uh, for many of my challenges, 125 HP with Levi was a game changer for me at all times. At all times. It helped me out a lot. Because you tend to lose a lot of HP for doing damage. So right here, we're not doing really a challenge. You might as well get the agility. And there we go. Then we have four choices here. We have the first one, which does not work. Specialized. Uh, hello, not Nola. Hello, what's going on? What up? I've seen my first playthrough with Marco, so I really want to watch this, but I have to travel in three hours. No. I'm sorry, you gotta sleep. That's okay. You might wanna. You might catch it later when I'm finished streaming. Specialist in accuracy. This doesn't work. Efficiency. Sorry, proficiency. Skills. Such as melee proficiency, um, barrel feet proficiency, and gun proficiency don't work in this patch of the game. Hopefully, in the next patch, it gets fixed. Special animation gives you the overpowered skill of Bab and Weave, which you can just say fuck it to everything and just ignore every single damage in the video game. Just like that. As easy as that. Perfect guard. Perfect guard is good if you're planning to not get meditation. If you're planning to get meditation, perfect guard is a thing that you don't want to have. You get meditation at the end of the game, almost. 
So maybe you buy one this early or not. Perfect Guard allows you to not lose any limbs, by the way. But if you have, if you have Perfect Guard and then you get Meditation, both skills are cancelled and you can never get Perfect Guard in the game and you can never get Meditation in the game. How do I feel later? Good luck. Thank you. See you later, Sandman. Thank you. See you. See you. Thank you for being here. But yes, uh, Perfect Guard getting the first and then Meditation cancels both skills and there's really not a good idea to have at all. And Offense is Adrenaline Rush, which can help a lot if it is in Master Mode. It kind of sucks. It kind of sucks a lot because physical damage is nerfed like a city four. So the best thing here for anyone who's playing the game will be Bob and Weave because of how good it is to just have that evasion chance. You're mostly rely on luck when you play with it, but it's fine. Ending B, right? Yes, ending B. Although I will also try to do ending A at the same time, because why not, you know? How many spoilers will I see if I watch this? A lot. A lot. All the spoilers in the world. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best, but I, I, I think I cannot hide you from the spoilers. I cannot shield you, you know? Yeah. Then we have this choice. Escape plan is decent early game, but I don't like it. If you use skill into run, you can use escape plan, which gives you more chances of running away from enemies. However, there is a strat to this. If you get two small things amulet with any character in the game, you can do something very fun. Very strong as well. I cannot say it right now because of spoilers, but once I get it, You'll see what I do. Right here, the best thing to do is getting rid of Ricardo because of what I said. Healing intent breaks the game. It makes it very, very easy against most encounters. You will see what happens when I have it. But pretty much is that when you have it, enemies run away from you. Most enemies are scared of fighting you. It helps quite a bit. It is not good for a speedrun, however. If you're planning to speedrun again, don't get this. Because it's better for you to leave enemies in a place where you remember where they are instead of like triggering them, triggering them from far away. Let me Marco chasing Moonless with heroin and glass shards and getting black steel in 10 minutes on mass almost. Seems viable. Eh. Moonless is kind of cheesable though. Even wheelchairless Olivia can do it. Thankfully, I hope in and out the support. I just turn off my ears. Oh no! <laughs> Thank you for the support, but don't worry. What does Killing Intent do? Enemies run away from you. Most enemies run away from you, so it's really useful for you to have it. Since it makes Fickle Hounds scared of you, so they will not be going towards you. And it makes Tom Cherubs in the level who are alone in the, in the school, they will run away from you. They're scared. But yep. Let me check something out real quick. All right. Let's see. So we have now this choice of medical goods, which gives you blue vials and one cloth fragment, which is really good for people who start the game. That's a really good thing to do. Food, which gives you two dried meat and one moldy bread, which is the worst choice in the entire game to go for whenever you choose the fourth character choice. So you should never go with this one. And luxury and goods gives you one heroin and one pep pill. In my opinion, one heroin, one pep pill. That's like a really good choice because I like using heroin and I like using pep pills and breaking the game that way. <laughs> You'll see. Let's see. Let's see. We, I guess we save because why not? We'll see what we get. Also, this is all the saves I have, by the way, in case you want to see how much experience I have with this game. Oh, it stopped pretty early. Huh. Okay. Wait, there's more. Oh, oh wait, no, no. What if I go down? Is there more? Oh, there's more. Look at that. How many playthroughs do I have? I wonder. For the shit. For the shit. All right, whatever. I need to probably clean that someday. I like upload it to Google Drive so I can keep most of those saves because those are content. Those playthroughs are finished, more than likely. Or almost to be finished. You don't really want the Casara, so... Because you got your fists already. And already, as I said before, Physical damage is nerfed. So you don't want your fist because of physical damage, you want them for something else. Now there's something really funny that you can do in this game. Raccoon's heroin says maybe 
It's not many such cases. I said, good social invest, though, guarantee heroin and early pep pills. Of course, of course. The villages are stronger than the other villages, for no reason, right? They're kind of strong, but they're bothersome to have around. Now, because it's massive mode, you start in day three night, of course, so you might as well. Just get your loot around and decide where you want to go. Right now, I am going to go ahead and get all the items that I need to start master mode. And I mean all of them. Usually you don't have to care about mine, for example. One thing I can give you, like a really good tip. If you get panophobia, you get panophobia. You don't have to think about it. The best thing you can do to fight against panophobia is to not think about it. To be honest. It helps a lot. I'll show you all the herbs that you can get early. That I remember at least. Where they are. And they help quite a bit. You cannot be uh, hit by rare before leaving this place. If you go to the right right now, you're going to be hit by rare, by the way. Well, you're going to be, you know, the countdown is going to start and shit. But yeah. Just push it on yourself to get killing in real life or do. Like Marco, fits can be can be better in certain fights. For me, I prefer Margrafis over any other weapon in the game because of how strong they are. And you'll see what I mean by strong. The, uh, the earlier you get a save, the better it is for you. Mentally. And just to allow you to, you know, relax. Because you can take more chances. Hello, Kathy. Hello, how's it going? What up? Welcome, Kathy. With it, with it, with it, with it. Oh, by the way, guys, just saying. But Kathy is the one that made me this avatar they have right now. So please thank Kathy for this beautiful avatar they have. Okay, I finished looting everything that I want. <clears throat> if I go up here, I'm going to be forced to go through the woodsman house. And I'm going to be forced to go through the bunker. Then I will have to circle around to, to Henrik, which is the mayor. To the mayor. To get the key and then i have to go back to the left which is going to cause me to have a death mask showing up because death mask in this game work in this way whenever you go past the death mask you are safe but if you come back to that place where the death mask is sleeping it's gonna get up so what we want to do is we want to try our best to not retrace our steps of course if you go to the to the orphanage, there is a death mask outside, so that is forced to happen. You are forced to have a death mask show up there. It's gonna happen. You are forced to fight that one. And you save in muscle mode because when I sleep, or Kelly mocks me and then sets me back. You cannot sleep in muscle mode. You can save with multiple ways, for example, getting a book of enlightenment or getting the book of fear and hunger. You can get those two. Now the timer has started. Even though the message is not playing right now, the timer has started. So you should be careful. We get the serve. And now there's a guy here on the left. We could fight the guy, technically. And right now, because it's the beginning of the game, we don't really do much out of this. So we can go ahead and try our luck because of the fact that, you know, we can just restart the game. So we can test our luck here, might as well. And fight this guy. And you can see here why Masu mode Marco is really easy. We get here ammo for the sniper, which is gonna come out really handy for the playthrough. We can hear Karen going above us. We might as well get those two so we can actually make a murky file later if you want to. Didn't loot the other ones because I forwore. Other than that, it's fine. The timer has a chance. And I said chance. Okay, listen to me. There's a chance to have the timer reset whenever you kill enemies. That's why I'm looting here. I'm not going right to this house right away because I kill an enemy. It depends what's the time. Not sure I think GoFa works as well. Yeah, it flex broken bones, like I'm rich. 
Does it have a standard for skin? Can you say with a red return? Can you get party members in mass somewhere? Aside from, uh, no, you can get only necromancy and black one. You could have stolen from the rifleman. I could, but I'm not in a position where I'm able to safely do it without losing HP. I don't want to trade HP if I can, because stealing allows you to, of course, right, uh, get items from them, right? But I'm risking getting shot once. There's a move that the guy does that doesn't really do any damage to you, which is just aiming at you. The stream freeze. What? Did it freeze for you? Am I still streaming, guys? Makes me want to update all the updates to the game at so much at the point. Update? Huh? I hope I'm still uh, online. Marco Massimo. Yep. Quite the easy factor in the blazer, to be honest. This is the reason why Marco is really good for Master Mode. Because damage is that important. However, you have your fist to do double hit on the head. And most enemies are going to allow you to go at least four hits on the head before taking a hit on you. Of course you're playing with lag, eh? Just saying, you're playing with lag. You are online. Good, good, good. Frost from evil is switch fine. Okay, okay, good. Good, good, good. We're still trying our best to not fight as many staff as possible. If it is okay. Of course. But the more chance you have of hitting the head, the easier it is for you to go for a head zone. For example, Chainsaw. It's 30 times, and you're gonna have a really high chance to get the cell. Oh, Snow Harry, that's gonna wood. Welcome. Of course, you're playing with lag, like I said before. So, this it can easily backfire into you not hitting any headshot, like you see here. But it's all about lag. Oh. We're close to the death mask. We cannot leave this place. If we leave, the death mask will show up once we move close to that person. Might as well not. We gotta ignore this guy. We gotta ignore it again. And then we call his bluff. And then we ask for something. There, they give us this really useful item, which is a lucky coin. Which helps a lot. Remember, we cannot come back to this place. There's a death mask. Let's encounter this guy. Hello, Charlie. How's it going? Wood. This guy gives us a cloth fragment, which is very useful to have. And the bleeding, you know. Sacrificing Grogoroth, Affinity, and Fanger Bible, the optimal strike from Master Marina. I don't like necromancy. I like going alone. Um, I don't like having a bigger hitbox than just one character. I'm gonna go for the torso for you guys to see how much damage I do. 200, 400. If I got Rev 3, that is the damage I can do. It's pretty useful, but I like going for the head. <laughs> Home Red Strangus, how's it going? What a welcome. Don't like necromancy. It does. It feels really. Eh. I don't like having bigger hitbox. I'm really used to juking in this game, and getting a bigger hitbox allows me to. Not have the juking potential that I could be having with just one character. And that really sucks. Because uh, because books in this game don't need any multi coin toss, you might as well just, you know, <laughs> multi coin toss the chest that you find because you can find really good stuff early, early on in the game. Like a shame dress, for example. Which is really freaking good, to be honest. It sucks, you can equip some boss, yeah. What did you get space for? It's really good. Ah, uh, Maybe. I don't know, I don't like it because of how big your hitbox. Like I said before, I like juking. What can I say? It might be useful 
with white black orb. Mm. I don't think so that much about black orb being white. That doesn't sound like a thing that I would do. We're gonna try not to fight these guys for now because we don't have a build that can actually properly guarantee that we will not be losing a lot of tree to them. So might as well. We're waiting for the guy to show up so we can actually despawn him from air for life. Now that he spawned, we can actually just have them gone from the playthrough. And I wanna loot what this guy has on the bottom, because why not? He really is camping that place, eh? Don't have a smoky. I believe there's something here, so might as well just leave. Let's go right. We have pet pills, that's really good. Double coin. Safety <coughs> farmer. That's actually one of the worst armors in the game. This is the reason why I was able to do one agility run. If you ever get the armor, never use it. Unless you want a challenge. One agility allows enemies to have an extra turn over you at every single time. By the way, Comrade Scrunches, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. I don't believe I've seen you here. Welcome, buddy. Okay, let's see if we get lucky. Mahaver, that doesn't do anything. Or Cold Grimoire, that doesn't do anything. Anatomia, nothing. Nothing here. Let's see. Book of Lightning, we got lucky. And rare. Okay. <clears throat> so we got rare and a Book of Enlightenment. I will say on Heartless Fight. Heartless Fight with White Spice is not a good idea because you transition Heartless into the second... Uh, into their second stance right away and it's not really you, something you want. What are these books good for? They allow you to do many things. For example, right now, there's this guy here, which, to be honest, I don't like him. But I kind of want to leave him alive because I'm doing a guy right now. If I, if it were for me, I would use this book of line right now just to kill him because I don't like him. I hate him. But I think that's a bad idea to show players that you can just get a book of light. He really is looking at me, eh? I kind of want to kill him, to be honest. Hmm. Eh, why not? You know? You cannot say no to, you know, your needs. Gotta get him, you know? How it is? If I don't kill him, it's still good because of the Book of Enlightenment that I just got. Okay. And the reason why I want to kill this guy is because he has a Tolson and it's really useful for me. We also have this. We can use for rare if we need to. Hello, Raspberry Nogwad. Hello. Are you going to do Golden Gates since you got rare? It helped me out. Nope. I hate Golden Gates. It helped me out in my playthrough, but I don't know if it's worth it. No. The three, wasting three circles for it feels really bad. But without logging, how do you get into the Eastern sewers? You can save Henrik in this game mode. So what's the plan? I'm just going to get the keys from the mayor, you know? Get gold and save. I don't like the gold, sadly. Uh, you're losing 103 miners. Oof. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Someone is in pie. Bird trap? No bird trap. Sadly, no bird trap. <clears throat> but you know what? I like, I love, and I enjoy it a lot to kill that guy. That guy, killing that guy was really good. I'm sorry, guys. But I really like it. We got tails, sadly. Well, whatever. We can drop down here to get a free chest. We get tails again, that really sucks. We get this for later, so we can get the armor that prevents us from losing limbs, which is not really useful if you think about it, but because we're marker. But it's fine. We have a zero winch, which I guess is pretty good. <clears throat> Push your head, that's all I do. Well, that's all I do, but if you have a vocal main, you can actually get lucky with the punches because you don't have to RNG more than one hit. Well, I mean, you have to RNG one hit less, right? I'm gonna go now. Bye-bye. See you, Chungus Can. 
But yeah. Mining Maso more runs so faster than also night. Yeah, look at that. I have 31 mine right now. <clears throat> I don't really think too much about it because of the fact that I don't really mind having Panophobia. Because if you guard, you reduce the damage of Panophobia by a lot. How are you doing all? And Tanuki, man. I'm doing fine. You, how's it going, Napoleon? By the way, we got pet pills. That's really freaking good. We got 30 pet pills. That's gonna help us a lot. Might as well get a tobacco and smoke it. But you know, I'm a bunch of people's arms off. You gotta go for the head. You know? Through which I won't run. Maybe. I actually forgot the dialogue between Henrik and I. So I'm gonna probably have a hard time with this. Like, Emilia won. That's really fucking good. Wait a second. Did I get the money? Remember. Did. I did. We got a Camellia 1, so we pretty much won the game. We have 6 kills, by the way. I don't remember the dialogue of Henrik and... with the player. So this might be difficult. For you guys, don't witness me sucking dick against this guy. You cannot kill him in the early game, by the way. You're gonna lose a lot. You can also get one-shotted. We see what we do with the, what happened. It's cotton candy. If I have to fight it, I'm gonna fight it, by the way. But I get snakes. A rainy day. We don't support anything because I don't remember which guy, uh, this guy supports. We're killing the mayor? No. If we, if we mess up, yes, we're killing him, but we don't really need to. Although we could. We have heroin. Huh. We could, eh? What else do we have? We have our own Hmm, we could kill this guy. There really is absolutely no reason to kill him because his skills are not that good early game. By fight against. You didn't read the Camellia, how did we get recipes? You don't have to read books in Fear Hunger 1 and 2 to get the abilities. Someone said many times to me that you have to read them, but you don't really get nothing. They really don't, you don't have to read. Yeah, but also in the first game, you don't have to read either for some reason. Like I recently played Fear Hunger 1 and I had it ability right away. So I, I don't get why people said that to me. You don't have to read them. It's really useful. We have a small key to get the sniper. I don't believe so. Man, I miss this so much. I miss this game. It's been a while since I played it. It's been like... I think a month kind of since I played this game and I still retain the information on what it taught me. So metabolism is good? No, bro, sir. <laughs> it's not. It is not good. I'm sorry. We got tails again. Shit. We get this shitty book of Code Grimoire. We get the Bonsa. We could go back and get the head of the priest. If you want to do a proper run, you might as well go back for the heads of the contestants or the enemies you killed. But I don't feel like it. So, yeah. Like Emilia. I don't know what I got, I didn't see. We got Tails again. Let's see. I watch one of my friends play this game with this character, and it's like watching jo Jacob's Ladder with Jojo or something. Like Jacob's Ladder? I don't know what Jacob's Ladder is. Let me look it up real quick. Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder. Like, I can't go to Spain. I'm guessing it's a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. I haven't seen it. You should watch that movie. I am very bad at watching movies too, and it was fantastic. I, I'm very bad at watching movies, but I could try, guys. Food is rare? Yeah, food is rare. So here's where I actually forgot about much about the game, sadly. But I will try to remember what it is that I used to do against this guy here. I believe I gotta go back. Or not. So some people would be like, man, he blocked my way. I cannot get out. So there's something really interesting you can do with this guy, which is gonna stay here and they're gonna lose the aggro to you. They're gonna go back to the position where they were. Sometimes they glitch and they can see you back again. Sometimes they don't. So we're relying on luck right now. We gotta try to hide. There we go. We got lucky. <laughs> I wish they would have seen me so I can show you how to juke those guys, but 
I could. We got a profile in Talisman. Can you shoot him? We don't have a gun right now. I could, but we don't have a gun. It's been a while since I played this game like I said before, so I'm really sorry if I mess up. There's a Desmas right next to my side right now. If I were to get inside the shop, more than likely he will come out. I believe. As far as I know, that will be really a bad idea. So we don't want to go inside there. Although, we can get chalk if we go inside there and we can go back to the right. We will have to juke the death mask, which is something insanely scary to the early game. But the only thing we can get out of doing that is we can draw rare or Vinushka, which both are something that I don't like that much. So I don't think I will. We got here the piggy boy, which is going to be a threat to us in the game. But there really is nothing to about it because that pig is programmed to chase you if you come from the right. So it's either the death mask or that pig to fight. In my opinion, the pig is easier because you can try to at least get lucky and coin toss to kill him. Holy shit! That is. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Man, sucks. <clears throat> it's winning this coin toss. Fix your shop and go straight, you won't trigger him. I guess so, I just don't really... I never got the... Well, the luck to not have him trigger. So I wouldn't really know exactly. Also, she's trying away right now. Because of my killing intent. That's why she's not chasing me. I like how she looked at me when I said she's trying away. It's like, am I? Am I running away? Yeah, you are! The fuck away. Good dude. Also, always open the map. O always open the return to terminal. Will just go, hey, Exo. Always open your menu when you light up candles, because sometimes the candles pack and you don't get any mines. So might as well check if your matchstick is gonna be useful or not before lighting another candle. This is useless. Easy modo. Yeah. You got it once. Don't remember. It's been a while, man. Hey, pet pills. Really useful stuff. Yeah, to I kind of want to kill the Woosman, to be honest. But I think it's a bad idea. I don't want to show people a bad strategy because they're going to follow my strategy and that's really bad. And I play like an idiot. <laughs> Why do people want to see me play? <laughs> I do some dumb shit, man. Look at this guy. Oh, he knows. He knows, he knows, he knows. The question is, does he know if I come out? Does he still know? Let's see. Let's see. It kind of does. <clears throat> I don't believe I left any zombies outside, although I believe most of them are running away from me. That's why we didn't see any zombie there because of killing intent. You see her running away into the corner. We're wholesome. Look at that. Beautiful. This is my spawn rate, just seems to be cranked up, no guaranteed. If you go through a Desmas when they're sleeping and then you come back, they are guaranteed to stand up. That's how it works. I'm gonna pause so I can actually see what's going on outside before I unpause. This is a really good thing to do. You, are, you can buffer the map to see what is outside to if it is, uh, if you can react to it, that is. I was Medic as my first choice. I just started today. Hello, Ravens won't die. Medic, also known as Dan, is the best character for a new beginner. So that is one of the best strategies to play if you're a new player. Playing Dan is really, really useful. So you did a really good choice at picking him. Do I really want to go against the Woosman and end the run right now? I don't think so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow chat to decide if they want me to see me die against the Woosman because it's not gonna... It's not gonna work. I know that. <laughs> I'm not gonna suck at it. We have brought meat to fight these things, so might as well do it. There's also another thing you can do here. Ravens won't die, thank you for the follow. Actually, I'm gonna show you the strategy. No, should I? That is a more risky strategy though, I think. And I'll do it the normal way. You get into a fight with this guy, you talk to them, you give Rodan meat, you punch him in the face. Welcome, Zapacho con Balta. Un gusto. Alto nombre, por cierto. Nice name. We, hit, we get hit once, but it's, it's whatever. And then they will be dead here. 
<laughs> we can also do the that's one strategy to do it in case you don't have enough damage. Because with Margo you have enough damage, right? There is another strategy for it, which I will be showing soon. I don't believe this guy gets tired, so I might as well just fight him later. Oh by the way, what I did there right there, uh, I did a video on how to juke enemies in Fear and Hunger. It's only right now for Fear and Hunger 2, but it kinda works the same. If you watch it, you'll learn how to do it exactly. You can just tell enemies to analyze themselves in a way. Yeah. That helps. Oh, we got heads. Nice. What do we get? Raven Elite Helmet. As far as I know, this is an anti stun armor. So you cannot get stunned anymore. As far as I know. You can always check the wiki, which is constantly being updated. And if there's information that is wrong, you can just log in into the wiki of your hunger and change yourself. So you can help out with the community, you know? For the meat, me twice, as I refer. Yeah. I like doing it that way because it feels kind of cheap to just, just go ahead and get Red 3 and just hit him. But I, I can do it right now when we get out to see, to show you how it is. Abela should be here. If you run through here, Abela will not have time to spawn. So you're safe. Most of the time. Right now she spawned just to spite me. Those, okay, these two loggers, this one and this one have money. And we have, I believe, was it this one? No, it was this one. Those loggers have money. We got tails, we didn't get shit. Most of the time, Abela doesn't spawn if you run. So. But she's not designed, like, she's not programmed to go through up under here, so you, you should be fine. <clears throat> One thing you can do here to react against enemies that are fast, which I do a lot in Fear Hunger 1, is to pause buffer. If you're not able to react to Avela, you can do this. Which helps a lot to react. Of course, you don't have to if you are able to react in time. But just to those who don't have reaction time let's say you might as well just pause buffer really good chest rolls i know <laughs> no more combat jaggers faster more chill my dress stupid yep it's kind of shitty abel is not programmed to go down here in day three nights so she cannot chase you and we're fine here to just continue moving she's only programmed to, to do it on the previous days i don't know why isn't she glitched or something i don't know we got here our first key oh well, actually a second key because the first one we got it from the mayor. And right here we start this, so we can do the ending A, in case you want to, at some point. We roll a book, retrieval document, useless. 60, all right, this is not glitch, so we can just go ahead and do this. Now here's something I like to do, which is dumb, and you should not be following my guide for this. I like stealing pearls. I like it quite a bit. Why you fear her so much? I cannot fight her because she's a really strong character and she has a coin to us each time. Each, uh, in each, um, each, time, in each turn, let's say. You can, she can have a coin to us, I can one shot you. The damage that she dies a lot as well. She also reduces your mind to zero because of the damage in master mode. So you are going to have a bad time fighting Avela. But I like stealing pearls and I'm really sorry. But you should not be doing this if you want to play this game. Just letting you know, don't do this. The pearls are not worth it, okay? Do not steal them. You don't get anything for it. I like the pearls. You shouldn't do this. Because these enemies are very strong at this time of the game. So don't do this. Don't do this. You can actually not spawn them if you move away from them. Because their spawn rate, like the spawn points, are very... Uh, did you take a barrel? Of course I did. I got you. What do you mean? Let's see. We also have 87 shilling. It's really useful. But yeah, uh, most of these guys... High, what is master mode? Master mode is high difficulty of Fear Hunger Termina, which is the hard mode, let's say. Where you're not able to save in the proper ways, which is sleeping. And you have no party members except for Necromancy and uh, Black Golem. But time, Avela Sans, Mago Ch Magalo Chagnar. What are you saying, Lina or Lena? Also, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't believe I've seen you here. Welcome. 
Oh yeah, the spawn rate of these guys is kind of small and short. So you can just go ahead and just spawn them. Or just leave them inside. Will you get any tails, huh? The, the chests are not giving them this item. <laughs> okay, so let's spawn this guy. And let's just steal a pearl. You can do this with any enemy in the game, except for the fast ones. And then... If you do this like this right now, you can actually suck at the game and you lose. So don't do this. Don't get into a fight with them. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, listen. Come here. So the way it is at dodging enemies, you can actually um, go ahead. And you have to choose a side. Either left, right, up, down. If you're able to guess where the enemy is not going to move, you're gonna have an easy time dodging them. We're gonna steal Lantern Flame from Avelia and then run. Mm, no, I don't like Lantern Flame. I like my fists. Maybe later I'll have another weapon. When you said have a bad time with Avelia, I might watch a swing to stand Thunder Tail or oh, no. A oh, wave us. Oh no. Yeah, when I get a gun, I'll probably deal with Avelia. This is the hardest one to dodge because of many reasons. Mostly being. A horizontal movement one and that this guy requires you to focus a lot i've lost many games because of this guy again don't steal from them leave them sleeping there's no need to for you to steal from them it is not a good idea don't follow my guy <laughs> hey we actually got lucky and this guy is not in the way so might as well just run away from him I kinda wanna kill the wolf man though. I'm not lying. I'm not gonna lie, I really wanna kill him. But maybe later? What do you guys think? Do you want me to kill the wolf man? I'm gonna read the first uh, chat that says yes or no, I'm gonna kill him. Okay? Whatever it is that they say, I'm gonna accept it. Alright? Until face isn't as, as funny as heroin sword. I guess so, yeah. True. <clears throat> Let's see, let me get some beer, because why not? Are you getting pearls for the pearl items or just for fun? I like getting the Yagetsu am uh, amulet. But right now it's gonna be a useless item because it's muscle mode. I just I'm just getting the for luck. Um just for it feels good. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no. Alright guys. This is how to ruin a playthrough of fear and hunger. I forgot this guy was here. Let me actually remove him from here before we, we make a mistake. <laughs> uh, yeah, the fight against the Woodsman, it's really not worth taking. But I'll do it just to show you guys what you can probably do to allow yourself to have an easy time with the Woodsman. Let me uh, move this guy up here, first of all. They will know where I am. Oh no, now they don't. Because they are facing upwards. I depending on how you leave the map, the enemies will remain in that pose. And they will try to act the same way as they were designed, based on where they were. You really see number you have a booby trap, so that helps. Yeah. It's true. Although about the booby trap. It's it's actually a key component for this to work. So I I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys, don't worry about it. We'll see, we'll see if it works. It's, I mostly run on luck. So, yeah. let see, I kind of want to have flashlights in this game, by the way. That will be a really good addition to the game. Can you actually get Gold Boy on Master Mode? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You risk going around, but you can have Boy's with flashlight helps. Oh yeah, right, right, that's sorry. Gold Boy is a, it's a goal. It's like a goal, yes, but it's a weaker goal. Sadly. 21, 28. I will rescue a and name their carrying. Oh, That's cute. Nice. You got carrying the house, you know? Most form has physical components, but deals otherworldly damage. Kinda weird how it works, huh? At least for me. Feels weird. Feels really weird. <clears throat>
All right, guys. As I said before, I'm really sorry, but this is how to lose a playthrough. We do have pipils, and we do have booby trap, so we can come up with something here that can help a lot. I am still, as I said before, I'm risking on a lot of luck right now. So I hope you guys understand that luck here is a, it's the main component that I'm using right now. So there's something here which is interesting. <clears throat> if you use pepils, you have an extra turn. Which is something obvious. However, there's more there's many enemies in this game that if they are stunned by a booby trap or a shotgun and you get into a fight when you have an extra turn, you actually get to skip their enemy's turn. It's something that happens rarely, so I'm mostly guessing that it happens with the Woosman. Okay? Just letting you know guys, this is risky. Do not fight the Woosman early game. You can see up there it says first strike. Okay. By the way, I don't like sensor in the game, in case you're wondering. I don't care. Now, over here I can go for the head only, which is gonna be very useful. And it can actually get me in out of luck, right? But I could just pop and win as well, just for even more luck. Well you like the head, and I like the head. And I miss the head. Well, right now we see. That this guy works exactly the same way as another enemy that I, fi I faced before. So I can go ahead and continue using another turn. We didn't get lucky. Now we need to properly bow and wave because I could get hit here. If I get hit, it's fine. I'm Marco. It doesn't matter. We're gonna remove the coin toss of the winner. Why not? And let's see if we go for a head. We miss a head, sadly. Let's see if we get hit. We're still okay. We got hit with that. Let's see if we go for the head once more time. We miss a head. Damn. How about another one? Damn. This is mostly how you fight against the Wilson, by the way. So... <laughs> Don't think too much about it. You're gonna get lucky at some point. There you go. See? We got lucky. I got the basement key now. I don't believe I have a chalk. Which could help me out with... Uh, I don't... Do I have Sylvian? I believe I have Inushka. No, we don't have it. We'll have our limbs back later. Doesn't really matter. Because with Marco, you're broken. We go ahead and clean this uh, bleeding. We're fine, like this. I might use the sensor mode later. But... Eh, I don't censor the game and it's been like this for so long, to be honest. That they're okay with it. We got God of Fear and Hunger, so now we can actually properly save the game. We did a lot of progress, so this is very useful. You miss them all? I know. We just go keep it. Oh no. Yeah, we did a lot of progress. We can actually secure our save right now. The pig will... Oh yeah. The head of the sky. Remember to get the head out of enemies in case you want to become strong. Remember to go inside as well. To reset the timer of better. <clears throat> Let's see. Now we wait here. We wait. Of course, five dollars for yourself and you are. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. Much appreciated, man. I will I will try to buy a new, a new arm and attach it to my how much would that actually be like a new arm in real life? <laughs> if I were to lose one, I guess it's gonna be even more expensive. But yeah, thank you so much for the kind donation. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you, Wolf. You're amazing. Let me let me go ahead and get this guy down here. Because I'm fairly scared of him. Look at him. Come here. There you go. Okay. Oh, another donation. A hundred Chilean pesos, I think it is. Saludos desde el mejor país de Chile. Muchas gracias por la donación. Muchas, muchas gracias, Elena. 
Muchas gracias. Mu muchas, muchas gracias. Disculpame que no, no tengo... No tengo... <laughs> <laughs> no tengo Spanish integrated in my system. I'm all in English. Thank you for the kind donation, Lina. <laughs> Sorry. I, could, I couldn't find my words in, in Spanish to thank you. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of much is unreal. Of course, it's pretty good. Can you kiss boys in the game? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. I, I don't think Terminia has much that needs to be censored, save for a few cases. That's not as much. Yeah. At least for me, they're not winners. <laughs> Or something else, right? Well, by the way, thank you again for the donations. Thank you so much. Back that is it's free in a way, yeah. Maybe it kills phobias. That's that's true, yeah. <laughs> but yes, thank you again to the two kind people who donated. You guys are amazing, and thank you everyone who's watching as well. You guys are also really, really amazing, and I thank every single one of you for being here watching my stream. But let's continue onwards. Let me heal because stuff could happen here. That leads me to die against the Bobby. Which Bobbies are kind of scary. Oh, what's that in dollar? What? What is? Oh, it's Chilean pesos, probably. Sorry. Which is uh, pesos from Chilean. Sort of Chile, sorry. You get this shit. Hop. Like the military shit is kind of there on the low rank. But if you want to destroy a phobia, it's really useful. Practice for followers. A false god, by the way. Oh, no. <clears throat> the beautiful door. Yeah, you can see it down there. We get some glass that will help us a lot with um, um wine, I mean. We are mine. Go by the chile lo más grande. Hey. We can open this, sadly. All right. So now, this is the part where many people struggle with. I'm gonna probably struggle with as well. Probably, being a high keyword. Because of the bobbies, right? The bobbies have a very interesting movement here, and this also a very tight space so I could easily easily lose right now however we'll see what we do another thing that I want to say before going up there is that once we go upwards we can choose right or we can choose left we cannot as far as I've been told choose both if I go left, I don't know if I can go right. If I go right, I don't know if I can go left. I believe you can, but I'm mostly certain about it because of my crawl only Olivia run. I don't have Chuck, which is very weird considering that it's a very early material you can get easily by most characters. Now, um, let's say... If I go right, I have the library, which can allow me to get a lot of books early game. If I go left, I can go ahead and do one of the pieces of the puzzle already with the moldy apartments, which helps a lot. However, a lot of stuff can happen. So this is one of the parts that you need to be like, what do I do and where do I go? Because it can get scary, but we'll see. We're going to be focusing on going left right now. It's not like routing. I like going to the right later. We have a pick a hub. Shotgun shell, that's really good. Now this Bobby here is going to be getting here. However, he's designed so that he will not be chasing you further once you take him to that corner. So you're really fine. Now here, while this cutscene is playing, the timer of air will be stopped. So you're fine here to just AFK and get your mind, I mean, your stamina back, right? So we do see how it's landing now. Yeah. Know what happened? All right, let's go left. <clears throat> because why not? We also ignore the needles spawn as well if you go left, because needles cannot spawn from the left. 
You can only spawn from right and south. The screen is going to pulse right now. We do have enough time to loot all this. But we're making it so that you guys can see um, that it's safe to get here. Right? We're not going to be looting stuff because you don't have to loot in this place. <laughs> if you want to, if you're a new player, you don't want to loot as much as you can. You cannot go back because that place down here, this place down there, is going to summon uh, a monster. I, I forgot the name. I think it's um, the Michelin guy, the Michelin man. It's going to chase you. We here have on the left uh, a needle spawn so we can get. We can have needle spawning from the left, so we should be careful with that. Don't go there. Wait, really? You can wait in this? Other? Yeah, you can. It's designed so that the timer doesn't continue once that dialogue is happening. So you're safe to talk, thankfully. Now, if I go up here, I'm going to have a skin granny. No, a granny showing up. Or... Uh, wait, yeah, it's, it's a granny. Let's see. Hear it? So this is in case you want another kill. The, the granny is kind of has a strong character to fight, so you should never fight it. But this is mostly showing that it happens. If you go up here. The Kumir will be in it? Yes, that guy. To trigger the infinite run bug. I don't know how to do it. Keep mob Emmy. I don't think I want to show players you can skip stuff if it's okay. That might be too much. I feel like at least to me. Now what we're going for is we're going to try not to go back to this place. Because the less backtracking that we do in this game, the better it is for us. We're going to go ahead and go to the moldy apartments. We're going to spawn this guy here. And he's gonna chase us. The dogs that come towards us will not be coming because of killing intent. So we can easily traverse this area without them showing up. We're gonna be fast as fuck throughout this place. As much as you can, of course. And then we step on this tile. This one? There you go. And now we're locked inside this place. Okay. We're forced to do this puzzle here. Which I actually forgot how to do because it's been a while however i have a video that has all the answers to this puzzle in my youtube channel so i'm gonna check it out at some point when i need to do the answers however i want to go inside here because there's a chest here it's gonna be important to us <clears throat> never mind it's not because i can get neighbors here which are scary as fuck i believe there is a portrait around here, which I never actually found until I've seen a video about it. Oh my god! Holy shit, that actually jump scared me a little. Thank you for the follow, Wanderiva. Wanderiha. Wanderiha? Wanderiha. Thank you so much. That was loud as fuck, I don't know why. By the way, if you hold X, I mean C, the X direction button, as soon as you push, you can actually, um, actually make it push faster right i hate this apartment hello big boy for you how's it going we all hate this apartment but if you hold z you can uh, make animations go faster this is the diary of the magman which tells you the answer of the puzzle which i don't really want to read because i have a video that tells me all about the answers ah there he is look at that we can get this sports of a young man to exchange for the perils later. It's gonna be helpful for us in case we wanna do something with it at some point. We don't run here because there could be a neighbor here which we could juke if we have to. Tails never fails. You know, maybe. For this room with the virus right? Triggers the first fun. It didn't trigger him though. I don't really know what it triggers, but it does happen at times. Just weird. Well, that's where you would check the puzzle for the numbers. But because we have the numbers already in my video, might as well just, you know, go for the password keys, by the way. Does someone make it harder to kill the granny? I should just cripple her cane and arm 
can find the rest of mischief. There, every single enemy is gonna be str strong because you deal less damage with physical damage. So yeah, you're gonna have a hard time. You're gonna have to go for the head, which is gonna be the best way to kill the granny. And even then, it's gonna be luck, most of it, sadly. So it's gonna be a difficult fight for you to take. It's best that you just ignore them or just get a virtue and just leave them stuck. Me encanta tu video, Raccoon, gracias por jugar mi personaje favorito. Hey, muchas gracias por tus palabras tan... Oh my god, no puedo hablar español hoy. Tus palabras tan... Eh... Buenas, <laughs> disculpame. Muchas gracias, Zero Force. Thank you for the kind words. Eso quiere decir, lo de kind, perdón. Let me check now my YouTube video. Where I have... That thing. Passwords. Real quick. Anybody random between floor one and floor two? Sometimes you don't get it though, which is kind of weird. Very, very weird. All the apartment guys. We go ahead and go to the timestamp that tells you the codes, and there they are. In case you want to check the video, I'm gonna post it here. This is where you get the codes easily, which there are nowhere else to be found as far as I know. I think, I don't know. Maybe they're in the wiki. So let's go ahead and input them. We have 13, 2, 6, 11. And we got it, it's the first code, by the way. Greetings, hello, Pobo, how's it going? What is? Welcome. Let me check if I miss anyone else. Khalid, 11, 06, 0, 2, 3. I don't even know what it put, to be honest, but it wasn't that one. Oh, we is really good. It's switch from phone. Yeah, it's really freaking good. Also, what makes it harder by cutting your enemies, your damage in half, so... Yeah, going for the head is really good, though, because most enemies are just very low HP on the head. I don't hate this apartment. You have to hate it, Charlie. Is the neighbor random? It's very weird and random. Look at him posting all the numbers. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him, look at him. It's crazy. We got ammo here. We got Dagdub here. We get keys here. We get shielding here. Smokey, I mean. <clears throat> healing. We don't need healing because we have 99, I believe. There's a route here that you can take. Hey, yeah, the music, this music is amazing. There's a route here you can take that will prevent you from having to run into any neighbor in the game. So if you watch me play right now, you'll see uh, the, cor the proper route. Marco can actually mess up this route by a lot. So if you have Marco on Moonscorch, it's going to show up at the end of this hall. So you should be careful with that. But this is pretty much the route that you would take in case you want to not get into a fight with the Nevers. And then we have another route here, which is going down here like this. This guy sees you, and then we go up here, and then into the cell. This route works all the time. You should be fine. That guy cannot get inside here, so you'll be fine. This is mostly the route on how to get through uh, this place, you know? So you get the thing, and then we gotta go left. Now this is tricky because it can glitch sometimes and you don't have a proper way to go through. See, we have two guys here. So we can push here on the left, get down here, and we should be safe to go inside this place. Because I'm kinda, you know, bossy, I might as well just get this chest here. Because I like it. And I didn't get shit for it. So there you go. <coughs> This guy is running to face against the wall because we left him that way. So he, he actually is not gonna do anything. Look at him. Beautiful. Whoop. We really are getting tails only. Huh? Impressive. This song Bob's this song is amazing too. The first time I heard it I was like so freaking scared about it. I I didn't even want to like check any of the holes here. I was really scared of him, to be honest. Three parties were so for jumps at it, and he yells, it's real hunger time, baby! <laughs> 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 By the way, if I miss any comments, I mean any messages, make sure to like write them again. I'm okay with people writing them again in case I haven't read, you know, your comment. You have to feel the digital shift for the coin. I, 
I hate it, <laughs> but that's true. Now here is gonna happen something very interesting. This is why you should not go this place early game. But there's two guys that are gonna be chasing us. And there's gonna be a mission in man as well. Chasing after us. So there's gonna be a lot of trouble coming up. Although I am used to this because of my pre previous speedruns that I do. Because I used to speedrun this game two months ago. I haven't speedrun in a while. But I believe I know the route, which is going down first of all, because of the the balance. We loot everything here. We loot the Oh we got a rifle. We got a head actually, finally. Look at pistol, that's really good actually. In a way. And over here we go up and we will trigger the guy, the Michelin man. But because I have Marco killing intent, I can go through this place. And we can kill this guy because, you know, for him. You know about Salvon, Snake, Amelie, in Termina? No clue. I believe there's a... Oh, there's, there is. No, no clue. Have no clue. Almost snake amulet in Terminal. What do you mean? Uh, so right now, if we go left, we're gonna get caught by needles, which is a good thing, by the way, because we can have our debuffs removed from needles because he removes your phobia. So if you don't have like, your, ho your phobia that you have right now, you can actually get caught by needles and he will remove your uh, phobia, which is not so phobia, it's really bad to have, so you might as well take it off. You can also do it once, by the way. So if you get caught another time by needles, then you're fucked. You lose. Um, also, he removes heroin withdrawal and infections and any other stuff. I have it in a video in my channel in case you want to see it. But pretty much just get caught once and boom. <laughs> Glass shards needles as a reminder if you fight him. Glass shards is really good. I don't tend to like to use them because they're kind of very strong. But yes, one thing you can do easily is you go Glass shards and it's boom. Easy. Let me read chat. A little more because I think I missed something. I mean, I send this when I hope uh, so because it sounds like a really good idea. My so in the opium fields. Ooh, I, I wanted to see Dan ascending for a while, to be honest. That would be really fun. Do you know about Salvo Snake Amulet in Termina? I mean, you can get a Salvo Snake Amulet as far as I know, just from looting. I get it lucky. Then we'll be, we'll sacrifice blood. Your videos have helped me out to get my friends obsessed with this game. Hey, Blue Fine, that's really good. I'm really glad I got more people into this game. That's really, really good. Thank you so much for the kind words. Appreciate it, man. Guns, of course. Guns are very important. That is, will be something absolutely bonkers. More than likely. Because, yes, more than likely. I can already see a bad ending to him, to you understand? So I was like, yeah, Rune. Ah, oh, Rune. Rune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one that I forgot. A two of them run somehow. What are the heads good for? You can exchange them for soulstone shards, which if you have three shards, you can get a soulstone, which is something that allows you to level up your character and learn new skills. I have one soulstone right now. It's gonna be like this. The lighter, I need a lighter. Lighter is beautiful. Yeah, lighter is very low chance. Teratophobia and Nostophobia are really bad, but so phobias are run ender for me. Yeah. How did you get lucky with uh, getting lighters? They're really, really, really rare. You mean someone's wrong? Yeah, that one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That one. Right, if I look at make sure you're immune to bleed and lime and limbless. Yep. I think he tried to help Danaka with his headache. Yeah, he knows. You can needles be shot down with a shotgun, thinking about dealing with him that way. No. A needles doesn't react the same way as other enemies with a shotgun. Needles is immune to getting too shotted. Same with Father Hugo. You need a lot of ammo to kill needles in the overworld. Sadly. All right. Good luck, have fun. Now, here's the thing that most people would do if they're not playing Marco, okay? Because I'm going through this place a second time, we're going to be having the Michelin Man showing up. So we're going to either have to fight him, which I hope we don't, or we run away from him, which is the best idea. Look at the Michelin Man coming up. It's beautiful. Now we go inside here, and we will have a more time to react to the Michelin Man. Because we're here. Now we go out and there's a bailing outside. So we should be careful with this. Michelin man might be coming up anytime now. We're using this bailing to... In the best way to explain it, cock block. The Michelin man. So he should not be here. Now over here we have something very interesting. 
If we run past this paper, there's a chance to get mobbed. The mob is the chainsaw guy and the two guys that come up. So we have a, I believe it's one D six of touching. I made a video about it in case you want to check on my YouTube about the chances of getting mobbed. It is a chance of a one D six as far as I know. We didn't get mobbed. Okay. The game freezes for a few seconds when you get mobbed. So you will be able to react to it. Thankfully. Bit hey boy. Kilos is here. No, he's not. We're gonna go inside here to loot this place. There's a. Uh, there's two boxes here. This is King Ryan as well. Yep. Oof. What is that cloud made of steel and children? <laughs> Holy shit. He's really fucking strong, to be honest. He's really strong. If you can remove Neil's arms with a rifle, I might be wrong. No, you cannot. You cannot. You cannot remove uh, Neil's arms with a rifle, sadly, to make it easier. So it's he's a, he's a really strong character to kill. Neil's is a vision of trust me, I'm a doctor. You can't stand Neil's. As far as you know, you cannot with a shotgun shells. You can stand it with a booby trap, but it doesn't do absolutely nothing. Are you going to farm heads using that bug chirp? No. I find that cheating. I don't think I need to cheat for this run to work. Uh, is there a reason why I couldn't shoot Nils when he was in a bear trap? Glitch. Bear traps kind of glitch weapons, like guns sometimes. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Regenerate them for another screen. I don't believe you can regenerate them, but you cannot sniper shot them out of the body. Move around. Down. What is that? I read, read that. I should insane called it the Honey Michelin. <laughs> I taught Dan how to be a doctor. Nils is in as bad as death mask, though. So. Yeah, this one is kind of a bitch. I prefer this one. I mean, I prefer deals for this one. Sorry, sorry. Who is your favorite? Tell me a character. I do apologize if you if I uh, if you said it already. I didn't pay attention. I did not say it already. What do you mean? And I will say it many times. My favorite character in Termina is um, Levi. Of course, Levi is the best character. He has a challenge as soon as you start the game, and having guns early is really fun. As well as gambling for a uh, a one shot. With sniper feels really, really strong. And removing limbs with the pistol, wow. Bro broken as fuck. Hey, Red Hair Girlfriend, how's it going? Woody? Welcome, welcome. Then my plan with Nike Strat, also known as running really fast. Ooh. Losing 25 because of a glitch, or no? Yep. It happens. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna be probably fixed at some point with this game, so it is what it is. By the way, if you don't get the super witch, you can easily get to this place if you're running. By the way, if you want to check if you have any phobia and your needles glitch worked, you can fight the obelisk here. The obelisk here gives you phobia of everything. Same with rare at the end of the game. So you can check that you don't have any phobia once you fight them. And you'll see that the glitch has worked. We have a bird up here. I believe we have a chest here. Hey, said, how's it going? What up? Welcome. Uh, you don't want to get inside the place with that guy around. Welcome. How's it going, said? Marco and Dan are the best character to start off with. Yeah, Dan is really freaking good. Marco is bonkers strong. But Dan is really good. Just allow you to not have to deal with blindness. It's really useful. Camo, 124, interest, normal, master play, differently with Marco, Marion usually. Dan is, Dan is really good. Because of the fact that Dan allows you to remove blindness, which is really good. Over here we can loot rifle, uh, shotguns and we get four shotgun shells. If you loot here on the left, you get ammo. If you look here on the right, you don't get ammo. As far as I know, that's how it is. It's been a while since I did this. I'm gonna wait until the chat verifies it to me because it's actually in my 55 tips for Finger Hunger Terminal. But one of these ones don't give you any ammo. I believe it's the left one that actually does give you ammo. I'm gonna wait for chat to catch up and tell me if I'm right. Because it's been a while since I did that guide. We get ammo here, la pistola. And we get the map completed here. We can see where we have to go to activate gener the generators, which are the X on the map. We have the Pan of Paneske Lessi. We have the Lessi right there. 
we have the train station, and then, then we gotta go to Bohemian National Museum. We're going to have 40 viewers. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'm really happy you're enjoying my, my stream. Thank you for being so awesome. But if it's the left, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and gamble that it's the left. Uh, I like actors who are challenge to use, but become very strong if you get past the challenges. Reva is really fucking good. Being able to remove limbs is just broken as hard. You can easily kill him early to get his souls, that's whatever. I is super good. When you are characters, he's super super guy, mostly he's the other three guys are powerful and healthy. The, but the thing about Dan is you can actually go and do an armless run. <laughs> he's really strong, man. Uh, a playthrough with Dan is really freaking strong. I'm not even keen. I did this. I did this. I did this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reality. I did solo Dan with no magic and just fist only. And he's really good as a character being alone. You can do anything with Dan. That's the good thing about Dan. You can make him a support if you want, which is something that people play him with. But he is really good at everything. Left him Samu. Oh, there you go, Gano. Well, the map is bigger than I thought. It's really, really fun good. I would I ever write to you? No, you wouldn't lie to me. Is a left, yes. Yeah, the comments is shit. Yeah. Can I wait for the play to that guy? I don't like having a bigger party. I like being alone when it comes to playing this game. Like I said before, sorry. The left one gives you ammo. Three ammo. And the right one that gives you nothing. So you shouldn't loot the left because it's a glitch. And it's going to get patched at some point. Hopefully we can get chalk, by the way, guys. Because I haven't gotten any chalk. And I cannot save. Although we can go for the, you know... The, the the place I forgot the name. Uh, fuck, I forgot the name. We have a bird. We have one bird. All right, now I don't remember exactly if it is left or right the place where the enemy spawns because we have a valen coming up here, and I believe the place is left. But I'm gonna wait until chat tells me actually before I mess up because if you hug left or right a, a villain will not spawn it does make sense to be right for me my opinion chug up or chug I want chug man I need it but I believe the villain is to the right uh, go uh, see ya later this go see ya Almira, God of Your Hunger. God of Your Hunger, all the time. Do you think Tanaka V ending would be becoming CEO of his company or becoming Yakuza? Yakuza. Oh, I like it. He just doesn't give a fuck anymore. You know what? Middle percent counters 50% nausea. Light sensitive and 30% irradiation. It doesn't really matter. You don't get through that thing most of the time. Like, whatever, right? But yeah, as far as I know, the villain spawns on the left side or right. If that is not true, this is gonna look bad. Yeah, okay, he, he spawns on the left. Don't go left and you should be fine. Pretty much. We have two ornamental lanterns, really good. We can go down here by the cars easily, so we don't have to deal with this guy's bullshit. We also go up here. Because, why not? Uh, 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 um, so to get a chance of getting heartless with a melee is worth it. Maybe. <laughs> you get money from here in case you need. I don't need it because I have 99. I will need it later. We get a lot of wine here and vodka as well as beer. And then you get a green up here, which is really good. Once you reach this place, you're just gonna be strong as fuck, to be honest. Marco becomes the boss of his own gym. <laughs> That you got them. <laughs> it's true. Now over here, I could go up and loot the craze. However, if I just run through this, I'm not gonna have to deal with the umbrellas when I come back. So this is really useful. As far as I know, you don't have to deal with them that much. It's still gonna be a bother though. They play again soon. Play it, play it, play it. Well, if it just does have resulted in me dying all the time, you can you can do it, Wolf. Don't worry. We'll get to it. By the way, if you go up here, you're gonna get a really good item for any character who's going for a physical build. 
which is the Lichmonger. During my first playthrough, I use Omni all the time. I don't like Omni. I prefer Gelfin Hunger. Most of all, thanks to the, thanks to the uh, Mark. I said, no, anytime, buddy. Thank you, Willow, for saying that. It's a really good item. Because every time you hit an enemy, you heal up. Also, hello! I haven't seen you here. How would you get here? Come here, buddy. I get the shit. We got this mask as well, which increases the magic damage. So we can actually be a mage in this run if you want to. Alright. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do something very important, which is when you equip a weapon, your character is gonna talk at times. Oh, yeah, I can't because I don't have an arm. Well, when you equip a weapon, you get a text that happens. And if you're gonna shoot something really fast, you don't want that text showing up on screen. Now, because I'm doing this guide and I allow you guys to read and play it as you want, I'm going to explain to you each one of these items and how much of importance each are. Bellowstone, you're not going to need this. You're going to easily get one at the church if you need to buy one. Soul Devil Necklace, it's a troll item. Don't get it. Although it can help you out a lot, if you get three Soul, uh, soul Devil Necklace, you can actually survive the priest. Uh, the priest that takes off his clothes. His clothes. Small things, Amulet. <clears throat> this is the best item. Period. This is the best item. Always get it. Really good. Ring of the Steel Blind, useless. Throne Ring, useless. Purifying Tentament, this is very important to open the rare dimension at the at the school if you don't have one. Hard and Hard, this is a gimmick item. There's people who use it with counter. It's really good. But I don't like playing in one specific way and I like opening it up with small things Hamlet. I feel like it allows me to buy more stuff in the end. Or you can buy another one, for example. Pipe, if you haven't gotten one, go ahead and get it. Tobacco, this is the way to make Master Mode a joke. Tobacco breaks the game. You get 30 mine, which each time you smoke a tobacco and it's 44 cents. You don't need anything else. Come on. Wild Dagger. Way too overpriced to get 100 mine. But it is used to throw it at an enemy to stun it. I believe you need... I don't think you need an item, uh, a skill to use, use this, but this is like a uh, wrench toss, pretty much. So also is really good all the time, just to get another ability. But other than that, I'm gonna buy small things amulet because as I say for it's a really good item, and hopefully we can get money here and a chalk. We got chalk and money to buy another small things amulet. Now over here, I'm gonna show you something that might break the game for some of you guys. But anyone who is willing to not get spoiled, make sure to plug your ears, or maybe not watch the stream, to be honest. But this is a guide that will show you how to destroy master mode. And I think it's very important that you know this if you want to win the game easily. We got Tails again. You might as well get this because this guy spawns even if you don't grab him. Just get a metal stone. No, thank you for the quick rundown. Yeah. Will you advance for any some? Sorry. I think I can still get you while dying in the forest. Yeah. Yeah, you can get it. I don't know if you can need, if you need it to use the item. The back of it again, huh? Yeah. Quite broken. That place here, a hunger knife. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it possible to play through the whole game with your arms? Yeah, I did it. I did a run again. I'm gonna I'm gonna sh show you guys this again. I did a run of no arms. You can uh, you can check my playlist with challenges. You might find a lot of challenges that I did, but I did no arms challenge and I did the interesting challenge, which is crawl only Olivia, which is really fun to do. And it was uh, it took me three playthroughs to uh, three uh, streams to do it. Oh, we done. <clears throat> Can't you get some other things amulets from talking to rat creatures? You can, but I need to draw three times the God of Your Hunger to get it to show up. You can steal a soul stone from Poe. I remember that now. You're right. That's something I forgot. Uh, I don't believe he's here anymore. Let's see if he's still here. <coughs> but that's a good thing. Perhaps we'll set it in the chat. You can get it. Oh, there he is. Okay. So the way that Poe works is that if you're not glitched, because you can glitch here, you can get glitched here, and if I got glitched, 
I lose here. Easy as that. What? You go ahead, you guard. If you are glitched, you will not be able to guard this. Okay, he didn't do the coin toss. I'm gonna steal from him. And I get a awesome. I'm gonna guard. And when you guard, you usually do not get a coin toss like that. See? And now we can run away. <laughs> now, now, now. I said I'm gonna spoiler you stuff. Right? He's following you if you don't, if you don't run him. <laughs> no, this one's fun. It wasn't. <laughs> I will require you have the Master of Vermin. Yeah. Okay. So when you have 20 agility, my last tip that I have in my 55 tips, be not hunger, Termina. And that works only in Termina. When you have 20 agility, you can run away from every single enemy in the game, except for needles. You have a 100% chance to run away from every single enemy in the game once you have 20 agility. Every single one of them. Okay. Needles is the only one that has more speed than you. You know? So you, you're going to probably mess up and run away from me. You can run from those too. The chance is lower. You can try. It's gonna fail sometimes. It's not something that can happen. By the way, if, I, if you're doing the movement like me right now, this Bobby will not see you. So if you copy my exact movement, he will not see you. Not like you need anything, right? Because you have 20 agility. The game is pretty much done, in a way. You can run away from a right hacks. You can. You can, thankfully. They're not after it, unlike Needles. I don't know why Needles is the only one that I have trouble with. Maybe you had trouble with uh, the rat. And and I will have to accept it that he also stops you from running, but I, have, I haven't I have had any experience with it. Don't remember the lockers here, which one gives you stuff, but once you know which locker gives you anything, you can always loot them. Their loot pool is uh, random, however, the lockers that you can open are always the same. I'm gonna show you here, guys, that you can run away from everything with a 100% chance because I have 20 agility. I'm gonna try one more time. There you go. You can run away from red hacks with your rats. Maybe. Stop the Grogor, that's really good. Lose your moonlight. And you run away from center with your agility. <coughs> yes. <coughs> as far as I know, yes. <coughs> I haven't struggled with the center. So yes, you will be able to. The only one is needles, I don't know why. It's needles, the only one. By the way, because we have killing intent, we're gonna see this guy being one of the most scariest, scariest, scary boys in the world. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Just like that, they're gone. What happened to them? That's what people ask. <coughs> we'll do the Frapolo strat. <coughs> well, <coughs> there's people, well, mostly <laughs> Frapolo. Uh, there's people who play this game with Pangon Pig. I don't like Pangon Pig. I think it reduces the challenge of the game like, quite a bit. Well, already I feel bad by using small things having it. But I'm doing a guy right now. So if you get uh, Pangon Pig, you might as well farm items. That you want check out the guide on the wiki see what uh you get out of farming with the pine gun pig so you might be getting really good stuff for example you can get ammo you can get healing you can get uh, the items to get murky vials which are really good <clears throat> let's see what if you have a full party only one has to actually that's another reason why like that's actually really good that you said that Oh, by the way, the, you, you should loot this, 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 and this. Nothing else has items here. If you have a full party and you run away, or if you have two people and you run away with two with 20 ability, well, 20 agility, you need more agility. You need a lot more agility. Like two will need 40, for example. Three will need 60. Four will need 80. Stuff like that. Better go for now. Uh, thank you, Raccoon. Oh, wait. Sorry, it's good. 
Lots of fun, Mr. Raccoon. Wish for oh, thank you so much, Charlie. See you later. Don't forget to steal 15 hours from Levi. That's really good. That's really good to have. That you can do that as well. With three, you need 60, and, and with four, you need 80. Yeah. This side of motherfucker can kill you running in five seconds. I just gonna really hate him. Click here. I hate needles. Hate him. The shooters out run away because he made fun of him. <laughs> or he saw a guy and he said a gun, maybe. Raccoon, do you notice that you got 13 people watching your stream? Up to 45 rounds. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I, I know that we have a lot of people watching. Thank you, thank you so much, Willow, for that. But yes, uh, people seem to like Termina. <laughs> Time come will be broken. It's kind of broken, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else. No, nothing else. Okay. Continue on. See you later. See you. Thank you. Not, 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 no problem, buddy. Any time. If I cannot catch up to any message in the chat, my mod... Holy Predator knows as much as the game as me. So he should be able to redirect you with the knowledge that I will not be bringing you. You can shoot twice here, you can move sideways and just shoot blindly and you're gonna shoot one of the cherubs. He's designed to spawn there where you're close enough, so you're fine. <coughs> There's actually a speed and strat if you wanna get hits rapidly. Just shoot as soon as you, as you get to the side, you'll get it. We have Levi here on the left, which is a character that does a lot of damage. This guy, haven't seen him. We have this guy here. He does a lot of damage. He does like 30 damage each shot. Oh my god, he just shot and made me jump. Actually, <laughs> holy shit. Um, I don't want to kill him right now. Like, what? Give me a second. <clears throat> so the 25 agility works only if you are no 20 agility 20 agility works only if you are one character yes are you planning to the more characters guide i plan on doing a save everyone uh, video which is gonna include every single character when you find them when you can kill them when you can save them and as much information as you can it's gonna be separate videos However, I plan to add them all up into one big video once I finish adding, uh, having all the information. Poor herring boy, yeah, it sucks. Wait, what if I leave goes here? Yep, he goes here. Because I don't want to deal with him, we can go ahead and drop here. However, I believe this hole is actually much more beneficial for me. Because I want to kill this guy. He's going to run away, but he's not going to get far enough. You know? There it is. I'm going to test in it. Wait, 12. I have my phone. What? My phone to get infinite heroin buff. That sounds really good. Wait, who just shot you? Levi. Levi did. We go ahead and steal with this guy because you can get a f uh, flower stigma, which gives you mine, or a soul stone. Which I got. For this game, Sultan. Okay, <laughs> it was taking a while. Oh yeah, we get that one, and we got another Sultan. We got two Sultan from just one priest. That's why my dealer told me about, about the line. What? The um, heroine boy. As soon as you get out here, it's gonna be a ghost spawning, so you gotta loot fast here. Before they get close, we got another pistola which is useless. There's the ghost. She's, she actually tried to body lock me. Holy shit, did you see that? <laughs> now, because those cherubs were alone, they weren't chasing me because I have killing intent. Because of that, we'll be, show, uh, we'll be finding cherubs that actually do chase me. This guy is actually chasing me, as you can see here. Chase me, idiot. Okay. <laughs> This is because he is in a team of cherubs right now. So you don't want to fight him. Is the executioner still back? The shotgun one is bugged because every single character has it. The sniper one is not bugged. So you can use a sniper, the pistol, but not the shotgun. How it is? Levi is cool, even in his Moose Scorch, but he's still a good boy. He's really cool. I love, I love Levi, Moose Scorch. 
beautiful character design. And the way that he just cries, oh my god, gives you the shivers, yes. This chair is smart writing from a one armed man. Sorry, right choice. Not this one, so this one's like. Look that seat on the loot. Yep. It's been a while, like I said, for, it's been like fucking two, two to three weeks since I played this game, so I am rusty. By the way, in case you have the Ouija, we can get an item here. The Ouija? The Ouija? I don't know how to say it. Uh, we might as well just keep this. Yeah, why not? We can get soul stones here, in case you don't know about this. This is how you get soul stones in the game. Why all the financiers heads? Because of this. You give the heads, you get the stones. I have nine soul stones right now, because of that. Three soul stones. <clears throat> this guy is gonna show up here all the time. <clears throat> we have a genie coming up here. We got Chalk again. We got Heads. Make she farmer. Do you want to slap? Game. What's going on? I'm bugged. Sorry, Willow. I don't know which lockers have items here, so I'm just gonna loot everything because I haven't studied this one. I'm sorry. But if you know where the lockers are, you're more than likely able to get a war record in any spirit on attempt. Because it's something I don't I don't wanna put my brain process into. Don't wanna. Don't wanna don't wanna uh, suffer with that. Thank you. Who got him in the corner? What's he doing? Oh look at that. I am sorry. <coughs> There's a way to uh, get two shots at, in one. You can shoot two enemies at once. It feels like a glitch. What happened to your arm? It went away. It's gonna come back later. At some point. Don't worry too much about it. Okay, it didn't work. But sometimes the shot can actually go through. And you can get two kills in once. You know a half of the loggers? I don't know the one on the left. There's a language with wings on that. Usman hit him in the... Yeah. I wanted to go for the Usman early and I lost an alarm. He's fine. I'm gonna re uh, regrow it later. Or do I wanna? Maybe I do. Or do I wanna? Maybe I do. Hmm. <laughs> Well, we can be a mage right now, to be honest. It's not that strong, though. But it can help a lot. Here, weapon scope. I don't really wanna. Right now, at least. I don't have a need for it. Maybe later I will. I know he's easy to kill, though. But I just... I like showing easy strands that you can go through without having to risk it, because killing... Weapon scope can be really easy <coughs> or a nightmare, depending on what you have. Right now, in this playthrough, I have not. I don't have much that gives me a. Uh, damage against him, per se. I'll do this later. I can go back here later. The, the Gold Brothers leave this place once they chase you. So, should be fine. I'm thinking about becoming a mage because a death mask is kind of interesting to be honest to have. It's not bad, considering that we can get a chak chak, it could be very useful. There's a lot of ways to play with Marco, like I say. You don't, you're not just forced into one playstyle. They're angels now. Oh no, a scythe. Sorry, it's here. This Marco weapon in Giant Steel. Ah, yeah. Any weapon that a place any status effect like fire, bleeding, poison will allow you to just break the game easily. You're pretty much uh, allowed to just break the game. What should you want? Now let's see. Do we get a book of element to test this out or do we have to do it the normal way? Magic Boxer. <laughs> I like that. This Margo weapon is Surge of Sphere. I haven't tested Surge of Sphere, so I wouldn't know. But maybe. 
Let's see. Okay, so critic. Alright, we can go back and use the save at the orphanage to test something out and show you guys something. But I don't think... I explained it earlier, before. I could explain it here as well. Okay. So right here, there's this guy. If you have murky vials at this point, you can actually go ahead and allow him to undress himself. And then when he has no more armor, he increases the damage of fire. Two murky vials in one turn will one-shot him. So you win against him. I have that in my muscle mode guide that I made. But it's a very old guide that I did, and it's kind of not the best one. I might be targeting another guy at some point, which has more spoilers about the game. To people who really want to destroy Masmo. The best way to deal with this guy, you know already, is with ammo. But we don't have any ammo, so we might as well go back and get our arm sack. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let me get my, uh, my arm sack. Because we have no way to deal with him right now. Although, I kind of want to kill Levi for ammo, but then again, I don't want to kill But maybe I could kill- No, I'm not killing him. I like Levi. I feel bad killing him, to be honest. I feel really bad. Does anyone else feel bad about killing Levi? Or my anyone? Bloodless? Bloodless sucks. Shitty. I'm gonna go ahead and get back my arms soon enough. Probably at the church, since I am not interested in killing the hardest one. I can do you still do you will do the final stream on the stream? Probably, we'll see. By the way, this is how you juke enemies. I have twenty agility right now, I don't lose anything, I'm getting caught by this guy, but it's how you juke him, in case you wanna learn. Uh this this yep. Can you run from Levi? Yes. I would like to leave him at a place where I don't have to worry about him. Do I? <laughs> I'm gonna do this real quick. Levi, come here. Come here, Levi. Okay. Now I'm gonna buffer a pause, run to the right, and he will not see me. He's not gonna be a bother now. So I say no, at least. If he goes back here, I'm fucked. But hey, that's awesome. Oh. 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 Let's keep him here on the left. <laughs> I don't know if he can tire Levi, let's see. Oh, he knows, does he? Does he know? No, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh wait, I need the the pearl. There you go. Come on, Leo. I could kill Levi, they say, but maybe... Do you want me to kill Levi? I'm gonna ask you, chat, before I do it, because I feel bad killing Levi. But do you want me to kill him? Is that something you guys want? Let's see my boy, my main dead in this game. The Levi. I don't want to kill him though. I feel like the chat is going to say yes. But I give the chance. Don't do it. I, I, I'm not doing it. Don't do it, he said. Can he steal from me? There's a no and a yes in the chat. I'm gonna go ahead and allow the chat to fight it. I'm gonna wait here for a bit. So I can have Levi only chasing me. And now the run is gonna chase me, so I'm gonna be fast. Mm -hmm. is dead. Yes, please, do it. I wanna kill my main like this. Look at the violence. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. The anger to my main is quite big, to be honest. <laughs> You can see this ammo. You want me to kill my main? Levi has rights. <laughs> I feel bad killing my main, to be honest. With mercy for him. Don't kill him. I can't. There's so many notes in the chat that I can't. I'm gonna go back for him later, though. I'm sorry. I'm gonna come back for later. I'm really sorry, Levi. I like you a lot, and it really makes me feel bad to kill you. I will have to kill you because it's a muscle mode ending B. Please, you're not gonna get away.
Who are Caligula? Who are Caligula? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. We can't. Oh, I almost stepped on that one. So right now, this guy is going to come out. But like I said before, we have 20 agility. So it's fine. Now let's go. Um, I don't know where exactly to go from here. I'm guessing the, this place. That's why not. Made as well. In case you're wondering, here you go. Just to verify you can do this. There you go. What are those rusty pearls? You can use them to get items by giving them to a guy. That's all there is to it. You can get items which are really good. For example, Ring of Wraith. <coughs> or another Lichmonger. Or a Yagetsu Amulet that gives you critical chance. Check Hexen. Can't. At the moment, can't. This route is kind of bleh when it comes to looting everything. If you really want to go through this place, don't loot anything and just go through it. Looting is never a good idea here, considering that a lot of juking is needed and you're going to be pushing to a faster juke because of these guys. So don't, don't, don't loot this place like I'm doing. I'm only doing it because I have 20 agility. If not, I, just, I would just go through. You cannot go... Wait, you can actually. Uh... I was going to say something that's not true, I'm sorry. I almost lied, live on YouTube. Which... Curious, will this include Fires or Hell is One and Platoon, or is it just the stuff for an MV? <laughs> that is the question I didn't want to read. Do you want to see Harless One? <laughs> Do you want to see? Hello, Raku. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, Cyprian. How are you doing? Welcome. Do you want to see Heartless One? Is that something you want? I don't want to, but do you want to? I'm going to pause the game so I can buffer quickly and see what the fuck there is around me. Okay, good. We have a chug so we can finally save our game. Oh, yeah, I'm doing fine, Cyprian. Hope you're doing amazing. So that's one thing that's gonna happen right now. I like going as a mage, and also I have a death mask. Which allows me to just win the game really easily. But I guess not. Let's go physical, Marco. It's been a while since I've done it. So I'm gonna use the Sylvian to get my arms back. I'm gonna go ahead and draw Sylvian at... Um, wait, do I even have Sylvian? We're gonna get Sylvian at the bookstore. I love this song, by the way. This is the best song in the game. If we play Kill Platoon are here, do you have to still fight him in, on the ending gate? Yes, you have to fight him in ending A, either if you kill him here or not. I wanna see Midman, my beloved. Doing Gucci for the go for the hardest man. Oh I wanna see you solo platoon with the power of fist. Ah Okay. Physical damage doesn't work for a playthrough, by the way. What I'm gonna do is because you guys want me to. If you want to do a proper build with Marco, you're going to focus on bleeding damage, poison damage, that kind of stuff, right? Do I have booby traps? No. All right. So, well, that price is out. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to the right to the bookstore. <clears throat> because... We need to get Sylvian, and we're gonna get our limbs back, so we can get the chainsaw. I prefer the big dire team. The one that goes, I'm a member of the Midnight Crew. Not that one, I'm guessing. Okay, that guy's 
Okay, let's see. Let me push him away. We go inside here so we can reset the timer of her. You can do it for her. All right, hardless one it is then. This was going to be a guide, but it's fine. <laughs> let's go then. I'm a member of the Midnight Crew. I'm a doctor too. Up in the morning, in the morning, singing the same old song. Need to kill Bobby, sadly. All right, where are you, Bobby? What? Oh, there he is. Okay. So this might end up badly because I like doing something very dumb when it comes to fighting Bobbies. But it's the only thing we can do because we didn't get the reset. We went inside the moldy apartments and the game glitched and it didn't stop our timer. That can happen. There's nothing to do about it. That's why I took this path now and not before. Because it's a risky path. And it's saved, so I should be fine. Is Marco best character in character of, uh, because of our hero journey? No, the best character would be Osa. Because of his starting gear. You, he can start with a small thing family. Right away. And you can get one of by killing Tanaka every game. Alright, I'll show you my strategy against Bobby's, which is bad and you shouldn't do it. Also, I need to step on his head. By the way, I need to step on his head, which might not give me enough time. This is how I deal with Bobby's. I guard, I bob and weave, and I guard again. Or you can take off an arm and then guard again. I, if, if only Marco can suplex the train, I'll be good to be honest. I'll be quite distracted. You can also, if you can't more give out, you can just more give out and just one shot any Bobby in the game easily. You really don't like, by the way, with this, and you like on getting the Lich Monger. After a few turns, it is not guaranteed to happen, but the head of the Bobby will stop moving. Okay? Now, because this is an extra turn, I can actually heal here a little bit. And then go ahead in this turn and go for the head probably. Which is gonna hit me a little more. Not that much though. We're we gonna pause and buffer. <laughs> now that you stepped on this guy, the moon should stop. Remember, you don't have a hundred percent chance to get away from needles, so I'm mostly getting lucky here. Because I killed that Bobby and step on him, he is not going to... Well, the timer is not going to continue. It feels like Bobby's are 100% guaranteed to reset the timer. That's really good to do. A good, a good thing to do. To kill the Bobby's and step on them when you need the timer to be reset. It seems I said, okay? It cannot happen. Let's see, how many money? Uh, 62, that's really good. I don't believe we can get them from here. Hey. Babe, what are you doing, Babe? That's not what I need, Babe. I hate this hitbox, Babe. And in Dream Flyers. Sylvia, we, are, we got Sylvia, that's really good. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna show you something interesting. You saw where that Bobby was, right? I'm gonna go down. Look at where he is. You see it, right? You see where the Bobby was, right? You see it, right? The first time that you go up there, for some reason, the Bobby will be to the right, over here. So he's designed to get you in a fight if you go up there. If you're going up here, you better have a save. Otherwise, you get into a fight with that Bobby. Hey, Srivinto, thanks so much for the follow over at Twitch. Thank you, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Holy sack, yeah, they really are ruthless. Thank you, Bobby. That boy ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? What up? Even though he teleported. I'm back. He, look at that. You see where he was? He was here again. Bobby's in that place, in this place, are scary. Be careful with them. They're not to be... You cannot toy with them. <laughs> you cannot fuck with them. They're really strong. 
don't have that, I believe. Okay, I kind of want to kill the the guy above, uh, on top of the the, tr the the car, so I don't want to take damage from it. Why not? We guard, so we have an easier time. Take damage, but we have armor. It didn't matter. We're gonna bob and whip, and we're gonna continue guarding because we we take it as careful as possible. This is how you are careful in the game. It's not how to be good at the game. It's how to you take the uh, fights as careful as possible. The best way to deal with enemies is by guarding. You guard and you have a lot of defense in this game. A lot of defense. You can easily kill enemies in the game this way. It also, it feels like it nullifies your phobia because you don't take that much damage. We got a hit. Vy unit. You're kidding me. Chests are not the best today, it seems. Me at least. We're gonna reset this guy from chasing us so they don't they stop chasing us. We're gonna move this guy up again. Just that way they don't see us when we go inside. We still have the because of the how it glitches. Hopefully the time reset. It did, as far as I noticed. Lucky coin. Killing tells because it's a raccoon. God damn it. Guard Rev. Guard Rev is amazing. If you get Guard Rev, it's beautiful. However, like I said before, if you get in Guard Rev, which is med uh, meditation, you can only get it with uh, Osa. You can get it uh, later into the game. Osa is really, really good. Do I want to take this? I don't really want to take this. The crow gets to stay down there for now. Oof. All right. So... I need to get my arms back, and we are not going to be a mage, it seems, for today. What's the goal in this run? Just to let you guys to know how I can, how you can do muscle mode with Marco. Just a guide, in a way. We're going ending A and B. <clears throat> we stay away from the edge so we don't summon Caligura. Asian can guard Coitus. Oh yeah, I actually need to go through the church. No, I cannot go through the church because you guys want me to kill the Samawin. <laughs> you can guard Quintus against attacks though. Yes, it can. If you get meditation and then perfect guard, it glitches. Oh, yep. By the way, another th interesting tip, in case you want to speed on this game, Something you want to know. Ring of Race, that's really fucking good. If you want to speed on this game, you need to know this. Look at my stamina. It's not there, right? Okay, look, look at my stamina again. I'm running, I'm running. I'm holding, I'm holding run. Look at my stamina. You see it, right? If you run into a ladder as a solo character, your stamina is going to start draining. Even if you're not running. So you need to let go of the run button before touching the stair. Just saying. Also, did you know that Marco is Jesus? No kidding. Let me show you. I hope you enjoyed this glitch. There really is no purpose to this other than just memeing. But I'm really happy to have the knowledge you have this. Anyone use Muller? It's kind of there. It's not that useful. Uh, we can go back to the um, to the train to save, and that could be a really good idea. Eh, we can leave it. I got a few hanging there for later, cause why not? Walking on water, yeah. The spell is back in the game, you know. You see, you should be able to make it because you came from the sewers. If I don't make it, it's because it's glitched. But yep. By the way. In case you don't, in case you wrote something to me in the chat and I didn't get to it, and you want me to ask me a question, make sure to ask me again, and I'll get back to it. I'm, I'm okay with getting spam the same question, as long as I can respond to you any question that you have. All right. We have this. We can leave this for later. 
we don't really need to use it right now. Could be useful for later though. But we're gonna have, <clears throat> as far as I know, that is the third God of Inhaman that we have. So we don't really need to write more of them. They're useful to have. The timer did not reset there. I believe. I'm gonna just stay here for a bit. Because I think the timer didn't reset. We're gonna get uh, our arms back at this place here over left, or uh, to the left, actually. Should we? Should we? Maybe. Yep. Nah, I don't think so. Let's leave the shack for later. I'll show you a trick later with that shack. Which is much more important than getting our arms back. Oh, the time it is reset that time. Okay. What are the numbers on your credit card? I don't think I can answer that one. No, 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 no. Do you eat trash? You know, because Raccoon, of course, I have to eat trash. Very important, you know. We get used to it. The Osmio. Marco is an old meal confirmed. Or no. Skitty, skitty, skitty. Wait, is this a text that says the best fuck of my life? I don't think it is. Right here, we're gonna get Sylvian. So we can get the arms back. There they are. Put them back in the pockets. We're gonna get this shit in case we fuck up again. I'll have to get it later. <laughs> can you interact with the Hexen on the orphanage? Yes, you can. I'll feed you good food. Hey, thank you. So we're gonna keep this. There's gonna be a text that shows up. You don't want to have this text when you are going to have to shoot something. So you push it away like this by equipping it. Same with this gun. And same with the other one. But I already equipped the shotgun, so the text is already gone. On a scale to 1 to 10, what score did you give to this to that game? What score did you give to that game? What game exactly? Fear Hunger? Hello, French Gopnik, by the way. Welcome. What is that game that you're talking about? Let me write the uh, God of Your Hanging for later. You know, this is the fourth one that we're uh, writing. So, fine to have. Why not? You know? <clears throat> There's four imperfect circles in the game. I'm probably gonna get Grogorod twice one Sylvian and one rare. Maybe. Yes, okay, Fear and Hunger 1 is a really good game. It's not beginner friendly, so I'm gonna have to give it a 9 out of 10. However, Termina is a beautiful game. I cannot, I cannot get enough of it. I'm getting back into this game, it feels really freaking good. Termina gets a 10 out of 10 for me. I love it. On the scale of shotgun to no weapons, how hard is the vial to kill? I hate vial. Anyone who says that he's just a coin toss to win? No. He's scary. You need to get lucky with the kill. I hate him. In normal, you can just go for the torso, attack, and then uh, range toss by a vela. And you tend to have an easier time that way. But in Master Mode, he's scary, man. I hate him. He's scary. He's a threat. Yeah, Vile has supersonic speed. Just like that. Scary. But Fear Hunger 2 is amazing. I am really addicted to it and I cannot stop playing it. I love it and I wish more people get into it. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm playing game at uh, this game. I'm making guides. I'm making YouTube videos about it. Making memes about it as well. So more people get into it. I think it's very important to keep this game alive. I got, oh, you yeah, already with that. Sorry. I was going to read it again. Like a fool. Let's see. Do we have a Vela here? Abuela, are you here? Look at that, Isabella. You know, there's a strat against Isabella that is kind of difficult to follow, but you're gonna have to check exactly how I do it, all right? All right, there we go. I hope you enjoyed my strat on how to kill Abuela. Hope it wasn't that difficult to follow, and soon we're gonna have to kill Levi. 
Miley sees the I hate Kamile. I hate him. <laughs> Tell me it's ten out of ten because I survived fake and he was kinda funny. Hey. That's true actually. I don't even know how you survived that shit. That was beautiful. Hmm. I saw that and I actually fight him. They're scary. Completely normal villain, yeah. Swimming in memeing. Yeah, I gotta meme a lot. Gotta keep the memes up running. Gotta make people laugh. You know? Rip abuela. Ripping baby. Right now, I'm guessing I could go for the mayor. Do I have two lanterns? I have five. I could go for the mayor. Yeah, why not? We're gonna spawn the... <laughs> the death mask here. Death mask. Yoo-hoo! We go ahead and push him out of the map like this, so when I come back, I can, I can come back while facing up and I will have enough time to react to him. <clears throat> Again, I did a video on how to juke enemies. <clears throat> it's mostly for Fear and Hunger 1, but it does help for Fear and Hunger 2, so you have you have the knowledge to know how exactly to juke enemies in this game, in case you watch it. I plan on doing a second video of it and explaining it the way I did in the first one. Just so you can actually keep up with um, the jukes, let's say. I really have the strongest more scores are good amateurs. <laughs> a short gun, you know? I without guns is pretty much you need a uh, personal skill from Karen and then you can just kill her easily. He's a menace. Henry, on the other hand, it's a gimmick here. There's a gimmick. First of all, I want this since I'm not going to attack him that much. Although I could heal with Lichmonger if, because uh, the lantern does physical damage for some reason and it can heal me. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and rig breath. <clears throat> Should be fine. Deal with it. Wait. We're taking it easy. We guard in the first turn. So we're gonna probably take a lot of damage if we don't guard. And we get unlucky. Open whip. Guard. Oh, oh, oh sorry, I messed up that one. <clears throat> I meant to use items. Yeah, I can just go for the torso, I guess, but I can use an item, so you guys can see what I'm trying to do. So we go torso the... Well, lantern the torso, and if he's burning, the fight is over pretty much here. You don't want to fight this guy without perfect guard or a salmon snake or iron guards, because he removes your arms. When he burns, the fight is over. You can just go ahead and do this and you win. You see? Even if I didn't grit, he would have died next turn. Because of fire damage. It's really last one. <laughs> I'm not really sad by this, you fucking casual. <laughs> you need to be careful when you get damage that enemies can catch up to you diagonally as well. They move diagonally, they cannot move to you diagonally when they're close to you. If you're very close to the enemy, they cannot move diagonally, which is really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go go, go to this place. I'm gonna go to probably the other place as well. Uh, not like happy when I realize you can move down this thing. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it as well. It feels really good. I just have for a moon card gives you chills. Very, very, very scary. <clears throat> okay. So, now. We gotta go back and back to that one shack that we saw before. There's a thing to do in that shack I cannot do in this game, sadly. <clears throat> I'm guessing I could just uh, bring in the pearls right now since I have enough. Might as well just do that right now. I'll do it. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So it's what happens when you bring the of a young man. There's three in the game, I believe. 
Four. No, four, I think four. You can do this four times in the game, as far as I know. You can get a Lich Monger ring. You can get a Ring of Raid. Two, actually. <clears throat> you can get Yagetsu, the Mauler, and Shotgun. I like Yagetsu. I like some critical. <laughs> yeah, physical damage are bad. But I like buying this nonetheless, because it's fun to get some critical chance. It's really good, to be honest. But pretty much TLDR on like the builds that you can do, <clears throat> do not do phys pure physical, add some kind of like fire damage to it, poison damage to it, anything that will allow you to just power up and you'll have an easy time. These guys are not reacting the way I want them to for you guys to see how to juke them. But we left here a uh, death mask so we should be fine because we remember, we remember that we left him on the bottom. If you go up a little more, you get stuck with that place there, so be careful with that. I don't know where Bile is, so there he is. <clears throat> Those are cringe. Yeah, but that's what you get in the, when the game is like very nerf when it goes to physical damage, because magic damage, magic damage is really, really strong. Let me buffer here. Okay, that's where I am. Good. Buffering is really important for you to keep up with the game because if you don't pause buffer, you don't see where you are and you're gonna get, you're gonna get over and over into a fight without knowing what the fight is hitting you from what side. We already used this one with Sylvian. All I'm gonna say right now, if the game glitches, if the game glitches and I end up getting Moon Scorch, then I will be slightly upset to it. So that's why I'm gonna do something very important here. Drawing here and getting through this place can kill you sometimes. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. By the way, every single time you transition from a screen, you add more timer, more time to your uh to the time when you get moose scorch. So you should be careful with that. Only transition when you're sure. That you know, any uh, time to uh, seconds. The most scorch. How do you get away so easily? I have twenty. I had luck during that. <laughs> Usually, when you have twenty agility, you have more chances to run away. The closer you are to twenty, the higher the chance of running away. When you have twenty, you have a hundred percent chance. However, I didn't have one, so I was relying on luck right there. Just saying. We're gonna be saving here. It's because you can get glitched most scorch here. Let me know my bug challenge. It's impossible. Impossible. Hopefully a timer resets. <coughs> there you go. The only one that can actually catch up to you and that doesn't let you run away at all because I feel like he has more agility than you is Niels. And Polybrasor said that the rat granny also does the same. Now we have. Oh. Okay. The timer is flashing right now. So maybe I might not get to the thing, the place in time. That's why I saved. That's why I saved. Let's see. I make it? Okay, I made it. I had to, I had luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna wait a little bit so we can check if we are lucky enough that the time resets. Please. Okay, good. Hopefully it did. Uh, actually, where do I want to go from here? I have needles and a pig going left. So that might kill me. We might as well do it the... Oh wait, you cannot go... Wait, yeah, we have the uh, sewers open. We're gonna go through the sewers. And now we just gotta get to the orphanage and get our stuff so we can be strong. We're gonna go through the sewers, like I said before. Actually, 
We can break the game a little more. This is not needed. By the way, if you're playing this game, you don't need any heads. The soul stone you get from doing what I did is enough. You can also buy a soul stone from the shop. So, like, there's a lot of things that you can do, but you need to farm uh, soul stones with the build that I'm going to be using, which only requires you to have four soul stones. Maximum, probably five or six, but it's not that important. And you should get many soul stones by just getting them from the, the chirps, right? Remember that you always have the chance to get in Moose Crush. So if you get Moose Crush, you gotta accept it. It's not it's not well implemented in the game, the Moose Crush mechanic from the moon in Massive World. So you're playing with fire. Especially when you speed around the same. You're playing with fire. Let me a Twitch reaction game. Or no. Because Moose Crush was a fine thing. Is it? I find it to be pretty cool to be honest. I like it. <laughs> Soul Alters, thank you for the raid. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. How's it going, guys? What up? Also, why did it sound twice? The alert. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going, invaders? What up? Welcome, welcome. Hey, Raccoon. Hey, Sultan. What up? How's it going? How was your stream? What were you playing? I don't know. I don't know how to do this. I think I can do it, but I can shout you out somehow. Let's see. Can I shout you out? Let's see. I believe it's like this. I never done this, by the way, so don't laugh at me. I think like this. Did that work? Dual links. I don't know what that is. Did it work? <laughs> please, did it work? If not, uh, <laughs> please press or if you if you can in the chat, uh, post so alters uh stream in the chat because I believe the one that should be doing that is Nightbot. I don't know if I have Nightbot in my <laughs> in my in my in my my Twitch. Hmm. Let me see exactly if I can get it real quick. I don't think I can have it. You know what? I'll do it manually. Un segundo. I'll do it live. We'll do it live. <laughs> Follow them. There you go. I'll, I did it live. So those who don't know how to do it, you can do it live. <laughs> don't worry, man. Yugi, oh, is that Dual Links? Oh, maybe it's a PC game, probably. I remember playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! for the PS1 only, which was Yu-Gi-Oh! for Game Memories, which was one of the most bullshit games in the game, in the PS1 library. I hate it. <laughs> but yeah. I had the right idea. Also, thank you for the sensor monitor. I don't need time. Don't worry about it. Thank you for using it, buddy. What are you going for? Ending B. And I'm going for ending A as well. Later. I personally think that rare could not affect me. Oh, no. I love August. Hello. Thank you, man. No problem. You put on some subscribe for some, but I just put on the moon screen for moon coach. I don't see the issue. That one where you fuse with your hand cards. Oh? What? I just simply wait for the uh, dawn to come so Rare goes to sleep. He's a sleepy boy, you know? Love ya. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Maybe too. <laughs> a favorite bot of Opa. What happened? This girl will tell me. Just walk home, to be honest. I would run. <laughs> if I don't get moon scorch, I'm just getting underneath shades every now and then. Also, please, Caligula, I am not in the edge. Please don't, don't show up. What's he doing? Oh. Scary. Now, the question here is... Do I want... Okay, I guess I, I, I know the answer already. I don't even have to question myself about it. I gotta go through this place. Oh. So I can open up the moonless place for later. <clears throat> Can you fix the display? I would be appreciated. The display? What do you mean? The display? What's wrong with it? Is there something wrong with it? Any change that you want, let me know and I can... I, I, I will do it. But I cannot see anything that is wrong right now. No tobacco. This whole game is basically how my grandfather's sky is going to school. Exactly. And stuff. 
Yeah, you have like regret going to school. <laughs> I've healed both ways. <laughs> I've healed both ways, beautiful. It always goes out. Just take an umbrella and block them online. Just take those guys with umbrellas. That would be nice if you could kill one of those umbrella guys and they can be used like to prevent you from getting most crush. Funny number. Oh, you're right. Sorry. I need to remove it every now and then. Oh shit, hang on a second. Need to re uh, do more stuff here, XR. Oh. Wait, what? Okay, give me a second, okay? By the way, I <laughs> this is not how to fix it. But this is... <clears throat> Something that you want me to do. Uh, let's see. Discord pool. 69, 69. You like this, yeah? Okay. And now we go ahead and... Oh, fuck. Wait, no, that's fine. Wait, 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 wait. We go like this and like this. And it did not work because I suck at this. I need to fix this. One second. Discord. Who? <clears throat> is this 36? Yes, it is 36. Now we go ahead and now we disable this and it goes away and we enable it. And why is it that big? Is the question that we all have. 24. That is the reason why. Because it's in 24. Uh, there he is. All right. There you go. You like the fix? I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. Let's go get the game but I still fail. I'm sorry. <laughs> by the way, you can do this. And you get locked out, by the way. In case you wanted to see something useless that doesn't do anything. You can do that in case you want to. There's no reason to do that, by the way. Don't do that. You just waste time. <laughs> ¿Qué el mejor personaje? ¿Será? Much appreciate any time, buddy. Bienvenido, por cierto. Bienvenido. Fucking moonless? No. And back, are we back fucking moonless? No. The display is gonna make it worse. No. Why? You guys so mean to the display. How did it do you? Also, I believe I've been, I haven't done this puzzle in a while, but yeah, I need to push this down. Yep. The sun is so useless. It comes out during the day when it's bright instead of the night when it's dark. Yeah, I kinda use it to be honest. Hello, Fallen Angel. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Marco. Oh. Este muy a ser el Levi. Y literal es igual. <laughs> How long since we since the terminal lives started? I have absolutely no clue. Does anyone know? Oh, wait, actually, two hours and thirty minutes. Because I am recording. This one time I'm actually recording. So, 2 hours and 30 minutes. I might make this into an actual, like, guide where I speak through. But there's a lot of projects that I have, so maybe that will not come out. Maybe. Who knows? Beto, 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 beto. Okay, so we don't have a murky valve right now, so we cannot take down Moonless in a way that is way too cheatable. So we're going to wait a little bit. I don't believe we got in any murky vials because we looted almost every single library in this place. So we might as well just get back to Moonless when we have our build completed. When you do this in front of the foundations of the K doors, you don't get so lucky, you get stuck in a box. And you're, you're fine. You, you can just go back inside. It's really funny. Are you done with Funger 1? No, I'm not with Funger 1. I was just asked to do this that you're seeing, this playthrough, and I wanted to let, I believe it was uh, Oh Yeah Orange on Discord. He asked me to do Marco Master Mode, and I feel like I needed to do it, so I, I will, you know, offer them knowledge on how to do Marco Master Run. Here's a trade you're going to do, by the way, in case you want to... Messed up with Levi. Hope you enjoyed it.
Like, you've been playing Fear Hunger Dominus over a week and a half? I haven't been playing for a while, yeah. However, uh... Wait. I guess we're not going for Lex. We're going ahead only as always. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to let people know about this. Um, I wanted to allow people to uh, watch me play this one. I guess I can just go for the legs and life still here, might as well. You can glass shard moonless? Yeah, I know, I know. I just don't, like I said before, I don't like using glass shards. If I can just not use it, it's always good for me. Now that Levi is pretty much a minion. Because he cannot do anything, he has no legs. We can go ahead and do this. One trigger, equipping a knife. And equipping it over and over again. To get our healing bag. Or we can just go for the head as well, easily. If you guys, it's gonna take more time because you have an extra turn. By the way, that's why I didn't do that. But if you use one shot of the sniper, you can remove the arm of Levi, both arms in just one shot. Easy as that. Can you reload? No, please. I'm scared. It's actually really scary. I still don't know like a proper sound how to deal with him. So. That's one thing I don't know. I don't believe I got... I think, I, yeah, I did get this chest. Yep. If I'm playing Levi, does the Temple Gang still got Levi? Yes, he does. He might get changed on that. And there's still no interaction between Levi and the Doppelganger. So that might be changed at some point. This guy has... I forgot about this guy here on the left. I was going to say that this guy here on the bottom has... What it is known as soul stone. We will get to get it. Give me this shit, you know. Do I wanna get you? I don't think so. Or do I wanna get you? I don't think so. No, you, you serve no purpose. I already have enough soul stones to be honest. Let me reset the timer here. <laughs> can you find no boy in master mode? I don't believe you can. You are not able to. Nope. I think you're not able to get double gang raven to show up in master mode. I had to quit Discord because the notification were going wild and I was on the edge. That couldn't make them shut up because otherwise I will probably join in two days. Buddy, uh you can go ahead and right click on the Discord server and go into the notifications and make it so that you're not uh disturbed by any notification. Um, but it's okay, you can come back anytime, by the way, the Fire Angel. Don't worry about it. Anytime that you want. And also, remember, just uh, mute the notifications. We got a Chak Chak. You're really wanting me to make a mage, don't you? You want me to be a mage? How does a Finnish developer know what a villain is? More likely, people around him told him. Raccoon, when you play Maso, you got times where usually Neil kills Seneca and you get the PP thing cutscene if he kills you. Is it still there even though Tanaka is not there? Tanaka can actually. Yeah, Niels can be there. But it's weird. Tanaka will show up dying at times there. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Where is he? That's Musk. That's Musk. Oh, he's down there stuck let's see um i could get a sauce for the memes and a half but i have enough sauce already for now 13 i have 13 sauce i don't think i need any more <clears throat> let me get tobacco so we don't we make this game not important i mean not difficult for anyone Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna probably get um, hard and hard later. We don't need it, but eh. Why not? You wanna get it here? There he is. 
I wanted to kill uh, Karen for the persuasion skill, but I don't think it's going to be worth it considering that you don't have enough damage. Olivia could kill or uh, Karen as soon as he start, uh, as soon as Olivia starts in the game. She can kill Karen Moonscorch right away in Master Mode, and she really doesn't do anything. I mean, she doesn't really lose anything by killing her. But eh, we're not playing Olivia. We're playing Marco. You know. I wonder where he's gonna booby trap <clears throat> because it's a silly trap, I guess. I guess it's a it's a joke in a way. The trap is a joke. It's, oh my god, he will go when you step on the booby trap. It's a fine trap. It's a it's a kid's trap, I guess. And this is how I don't see. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. You cannot lose legs by the way when falling from that place. So you should be fine. Since uh, if Avelia isn't physically present, it's just going to appear again. Yep. True, true, true. We didn't get more give us to allow you to <clears throat> kill this guy. Like I said before, if you guard against this guy and wait for him to take off his clothes, you can actually kill him with two more give us when he increases your fire damage. But right now we have 34 rifle shots, so might as well use them. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think it'd be a great if you gave your avatar purple because right now he looks like he's been not here. Listen, maybe. I could I could talk to um Kathy. So maybe, maybe make that change. Maybe, but I don't know if... Uh, I mean, I like it. I like how it looks. I don't know. I really like it. I'm sorry. I don't believe you can get this book, so... You only get one book. I mean, I really like it. I don't know. Sorry. I like it a lot. And you know, heroin is really important for... Uh, fair hunger playthrough. So it makes sense. No? How many heads do I have? I have a few heads. I'm not losing much from missing it. Right now, once you get to the Hexen, you need to have a build properly executed for you to um, use it, right? So once you touch a Hexen, you need to know that you're going to be strong enough to deal with everything that's going to be thrown towards you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this, so I can get counter stance, so I can get adrenaline rush, so I can get physical damage. I can I get perfect guard. Don't change it. Where is orange? I need a hard mode. Maybe happening at some point. I wanna get the chainsaw for later. I cannot get this because this glitches meditation, and I'm gonna get meditation later. We're gonna master master chef, which allows you to have bomb and weave at the start of the fight. It's gonna be very useful. We have Black Smoke, which will help a lot in the game. Or we can cheese the game completely by getting Mischief of Rats. It's up to you what to get here, to be honest with you. There really is not really a proper way to do it. Right? I believe that's it on everything I want to get. But because I want to meme, I go ahead and get Hurting Black Smoke. And I'm going to get Rot. That's that raccoon. Watch this raccoon kill a god signed out of his card. Yeah. Craziness. <clears throat> Which you're right. Eh. Agility. Eh. I can have more uh, gold chance for agility. But eh. Maybe though. Push puppetry. Nah. Perfect guard. I mean, maybe maybe flesh puppetry would be nice to have. It's not a bad skill, but it's not a good one. It can actually crush your game as well. Not a good thing. 
Bring a pipe too. It helps a lot. Becoming alcohol ammunition sounds like a good fun party. Hey. I might need to order some something to drink. Because I have no water in my house at the moment. Maybe. Who knows? I hope YouTube pays me at some point. I don't believe... Yeah, I need to kill the mob. Mm. Alright, let's kill the mob then. <clears throat> All right, one moment. I forgot exactly which food gives you evasion. It's one of these though. Meat pie, that's physical damage, which is a by goulash. Let's see which one it is. Okay, it's vegetable pie and mushroom stew. Sure. Vegetable pie and mushroom stew. Okay. I could go for it after the mob. Yeah. All right. <laughs> eh? All right. I expected to see the other one, but it's fine, I guess. I'm gonna catch the other one. There's nothing you can do. I, sh I would not usually do this in a run. But because this is a guide, I think this is very important to showcase. Okay. You know, uh, let's just say that that thing is able to be shot down, alright? <laughs> But I guess um, I did a video, all right, in which I showcase that you can shoot that guy as well as another guy. But let's just say that sometimes they glitch, and I say that in the video, right? In case you know what you don't know what I'm talking about, check out this video I made where I explain how the fuck the mob works. And you'll see what I mean that you can shoot that guy. But it's fine. I hate this nonetheless. It's fine. Alright. Good luck, have fun, whatever. Wonder which food gives evasion. Stare at the cheap potly double explore by Severino. It's like mm. Maybe this one. <laughs> which one is really good? I believe should be fine with everything else. We have speed, we have Lich Monger for healing, we can have Ring of Raid as well, which is better. We have Samus Snake. Let's go have a hit and fight them. The best thing I can do here is get evasion. We're gonna just guard this so we can survive. So I'm gonna have to just pretty much wait here until the fight is over because there's not much to do here as a physical character. I maybe we'll have an easier time here, but a physical character will have to wait until. 
until other stance allows you to win. Yeah. Hmm. Ever thought about uploading your streams? I have in the past uploaded most of my streams. They are going to remain in live part because I think it's better to just have my streams on the stream place and my <clears throat> videos in the video place, right? I maybe someday I might make a channel for streaming videos, but I don't think that's important. Maybe not. As you can see here, the reason why I don't have why I don't use Leech Bonger in this mode because you barely get any help. It's much better to just go ahead and get um you know Ring of Wraith, which is gonna help a lot. Oh this is just a waiting game until you win here. There really is not much to do. I can maybe accelerate this with a glass yeah, gasoline canister, but it's not really that useful. <clears throat> Imagine you and your friends charge this guy, your arm to the teeth, and he just puts his tooth up and starts bobbing and weaving. Terrifying. Yeah. I don't even have to bomb weave, as you can see here. They're blinded because of black smoke. I don't have to do much here. Speaking of which, I might as well do it. Let's bomb weave. You know? It's easy. The flash fabric animation is so goofy. It's quite goofy, to be honest. It's kind of weak as well, as you can see. It barely does much damage. Very helpful for this. I was gonna say I do like the RPG as a game in World War II settings. That's really good. I like a boss channel. Yeah, getting a boss channel would be good, but I don't know. I see a lot of YouTubers doing it. I don't know why they do that, but a lot of people do that. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? To be honest, it's just I don't want to stream only in one place. So I allow both places to be streamable. I think it's much better for you guys as well. As you can see, this fight is just, just whatever, right? Mostly taking down this guy and then just winning the game afterwards. Because having bleeding is really good. Then we have fire. If I had fire, that would be also good. Can't find him. Found him. Yeah, in the live section. Yeah. But yeah, Fallen Angel, you can go ahead and join the game. Jo join the Discord again. And you can choose to not have any notifications. In case you don't want any from the server. It helps a lot. I'm mostly trying to focus on killing the middle guy by the way, in case you haven't noticed. Once I kill the middle guy, I would be more than likely going to run away. So I can get my mind back. But I don't know, honestly. Better be okay, Cipri. Take your time. Another way to make this faster, in case you are tired of watching this, you fire the mid grinder. They take fire damage and the fire is over pretty much because fire damage is really strong. Same with any other damage. Mm. Percent. In the lore, there is a chance that the Dark Priest mentioning Dark Fire Hugo manifests is Enki. Oh, really? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know much about Lord Termina, sadly. I killed this guy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run away after healing myself. Or I guess I'm not. My is in game over? Nope, it's not. It is not. I might run away because I don't wanna deal with these guys with the low damage that they have. If it is okay. I'm still gonna attack them because, of course, healing. There you go. Oh, need to go inside. Because it did not reset my timer. And I wait here for a bit. <clears throat> there you go. Let me get my small things again. The good thing about uh, the good thing about the what was it? Uh, where's the boy? Is my question. Where's the chainsaw guy? <laughs> chainsaw? Where are you? Ah, where's the chainsaw guy? There is, okay. <clears throat> oh, 
Pochi! Pochitaro, hello! Long time no see, thank you for the raid! Welcome Raiders! Welcome, welcome, welcome! How's it going? How was your stream? What up? Let, let, me, let me shout you out with my beautiful mod that I have right here, that I came out with, that shout out people! With my name, by the way! That says, make sure to follow! Support, actually, it says! Pochi, alright? Look at that, see? That's my mod, that's my bot that I use. And it's a beautiful bot. <laughs> it's not that I just typed it right now, by the way. Of course I wouldn't just type it, right? <laughs> hey, but you're right, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. How you been? What are you all playing? What are you playing? Tell me. Good. I have two small, two summons there, what the fuck? Hey, look at that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see, let's go, yeah, I guess. Let's just mess this guy up. Was that the timer flashing? Or am I wrong? Okay, I used to have a full lore of the game for a week and then do a full version to us. What do you mean? No! I am tired. No. Why? What happened? How far I'm going? I'm about to die some soon, bro. Why? What happened? Why is death part of your lore, Tom? What's going on? Allow me to f make you feel better. Please, stop hitting me. I have no healing. I have enough away, I really must strike. Thank you for the same for stabbing your toe. That's really bad. Yeah? That's like a bitch. Is the timer reset? Yep, okay. I'm sorry that you're feeling tired though. Hopefully you feel better soon. I don't know what happened, but I'm sorry. Now we have the chainsaw, which is a really good weapon for a physical build because of the bleeding that you get from me. I got shield, great raid. Okay, 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 thank you, thank you again, thank you again for uh, for the raid, watch. Thank you so much. Please relax, take it easy. Then what happened? Hello, Andrews! Hello! How's it going? What up? It's been a long while. What's up? What's up? What's up? Wait, did I, do, I, didn't, I didn't heal. <clears throat> Pochi is too weak to play more WoW. He's playing WoW? I'm sorry, Pochi. That sounds like hell. I'm really sorry. Yeah, wait. Thanks. Sorry, sorry, sorry to hear. I believe if we go one more step upwards, we are going to find a bookshelf. He thinks we are hungry, she is hell. What? How? It's a beautiful game, what do you mean? By the way, if anyone asks me anything in the chat, make sure to type again, because I might have missed it. Just saying in case uh, I missed a message. We got hit. Nice. Thank you, Farmer. What is wrong with you, game, today? What are real life phobias? Mine is people. Should I even say it? Should I even say my phobia? Live on Twitch and YouTube? Should I? Is that a good thing I can do? I don't think I should say my phobia. I'm scared. I don't think I should say my phobia, ever. I can only feel highs, high as fuck with me. Highs are really scary for me as well. But it's not the one fear that I cannot take. I have one that I'm like, no, I can't with this. I can't with this. I can't with this. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't know if I should say mine. Ah, el termina se me hace, está creyendo como loco. Estoy en el tercer día. Hay lo que puedo hacer o tengo que morir con esto. Naujo. Gate, o oh, Naujo Gate, uh, perdón, no tengo ni idea de por qué se te crashea. Yo diría que hagas un backup de la carpeta de save y guardes tu carpeta de saves, de guardados. Lo subas a Google Drive, reinstales el juego y, ve, y fíjate si te, se te arregla de esa forma. Es la mejor forma de arreglar errores. Obviamente borrar la carpeta y reinstalar Steam, obviamente. Pero guarda tus sabes, guarda tu guardado. 
Oliver Heights and really big things. I have a phobia, I don't know if I should say it. In a fact, they argue and it's not fear of everything and more like a constantly. Where is Levi? Oh, yeah, Levi is in the place. So much English, what language is that? That was Spanish, I'm sorry. I was talking with uh, somebody who asked me in the chat about the game crashing. I play Subnautica, it's such a well made game. But I can't, really. The only way I would play Subnautica is co op online. But even then, I have a hard time playing because I don't really like open world games, kinda. I said, I mean, how nice thing. Oh, good, don't worry. Look at this. Where's Levi, by the way? There he is. Hey, Levi. Need the Ring of Wraith here. I'm probably. Very monger. Yeah, why not? Whip. I love it. <laughs> How's your rank going? It's going pretty well. How are you doing today, Charlie? What up? Welcome. Again. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> By the way, Chainsaw has a 100% chance of bleeding. So you're gonna have an easy time against most enemies because of this. Bleeding has percentage of HP damage. So you will more than likely kill most of the enemies in this game this way. Our poor fiery muscular channel, I'm sorry. Had to happen. I we feel the most sorry for him to be honest. He is. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta put it on in this misery. Find it water very freaky because sort of reminds me of highs. People talking about uh, phobias in the chat makes me want to talk about my phobia. Viva y Libia. Silencio, mijo. Silencio. He has that much ammo? Yeah, he's a machine of ammo. Look at this shit. Look at my ammo. Does this make any sense? It doesn't, of course. <laughs> Wait. That's not the one I wanted to use. Have the chainsaw. The hell you killed Chagnar pre orphanage? Yep. <coughs> I did. You could have died instead. Why? What do you mean? Why? <coughs> There's something I can do here, which is going to the woods. It's a bad idea because I can get moon scorch. However, I kind of want to do ending A as well, but there's a platoon that can show up there, which I still don't know how to trigger him. And it's kind of weird to be. So I'm probably gonna wait until I have the last save in the game before doing it. Probably. Maybe the save. Gross. <clears throat> We're going moonless. Evil raccoon? I'm not evil, what do you mean? Might as well kill Caligula, I think. Here. There really is nothing I can win out of just keeping him alive, can I? Only for Shogun? Yep. Okay. Uh, Granny? Woman? Just... <coughs> I can't wait until <coughs> later to kill him in an easier time. <coughs> I want to see how you handle her. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> you like logic. That's interesting though. Everyone likes hating on logic. <coughs> but, okay. <coughs> my god, my throat. <coughs> Sorry. Remember, guys, I don't know why, but YouTube has something that you have to opt in to receive uh, gifts from memberships. Half for sure gave 20 gifts <clears throat> for some reason, it says 12 down there. 
So maybe you can change that in the settings to receive team, I mean, uh, memberships on YouTube. I have no idea how it works. By the way, this is an interesting trick you can do. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you like this? Is this something you can enjoy? Is the question. Without questioning why it happens. You know? Alright. I'm really happy you see this and you enjoy that this can happen. <clears throat> it's pretty funny. Yo, what? <laughs> You know, China gets killed into shots. Yep, it helps a lot. Cluster, cluster for you is mine. I have dreams where I stack in crawfish and I have to crawl. Oh my god, that sounds horrifying. It's been too weird. <laughs> <coughs> Damn, <coughs> Lloyd. <coughs> my throat, I hate this. God damn it. Let's kill La Ratona, because why not? Although it could be a really bad idea to kill La Ratona this early. Still, you might you might want to see La Ratona getting killed, so maybe it might happen. Also, by the way, uh, for some reason, my internet dies in 10 minutes. So I'm going to get ready to make the stream again. Un segundo, guys. I'll say it, I'm gonna say it again. The stream tends to die in 10 minutes. I don't know why. 6.30 every single time. Every single time. 6.30. My stream dies. So I am ready to make another stream announcement. Real quick, in case the stream dies. Okay. Just letting you know. Just letting you know. If the stream dies, I'm gonna make any other announcements. For people on YouTube, it's mostly. Because in Twitch I can just go ahead and put live and that's it. And it works. <clears throat> Let's see. We get this, we get this, we get this. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Rats, rats, we are the rats. It's probably set up to restart check for... No, I don't know. I, like, I really don't know what it is, to be honest. I have no idea. This thing happening for like a week, and I don't know why. It doesn't stop. Hmm. Probably can speed on this before the stream dies. Maybe. Maybe I can do this beforehand. We'll see. Because your arterial RI is too much for the internet? Maybe. Need a pep pill for this because they have more speed than the norm. And they're not something that I like to fight without a lot of preparation. <clears throat> oh. 
This looks fine to me. Maybe Lichmonger might be better actually. Yeah, I like the Grigo. Come on. Like that. <clears throat> the Goulash is here. The Goulash is the only one that gives me defense, which I prefer defense over damage during this. But it's fine, I can just have evasion, that's it, to be honest. <clears throat> Look at the rats! Oh my god! They're so funny! It's counter stance. To be shutting down, you down for your fear hunger memes not being advertiser friendly, you think? Maybe. <clears throat> Gotta apply it on this guy now. But I prefer to have an easier time, so let's black smoke. So they're now permanently blind, and let's go ahead and just bleed this guy. <laughs> oh, or we can just one shot him, I guess. <laughs> that works. Mostly about this fight is getting the bob and weave and black smoke going before they take a turn. But that's the whole fight. This is the whole fight, pretty much. I don't know if you can steal anything from these guys. I believe you don't get anything. I can try. <clears throat> nope. uh. That's it, a theory. A gay theory. <clears throat> How will you die? There you go. That's more like a uh, hunger one, it seems. <clears throat> Time to get our heads, you know? Gotta get the sense. Is it gonna happen? Are we gonna get disconnected in two minutes? Why not soon, guys? In my channel. And only mine. <clears throat> I'm just why went I right kidding hide up bravo. It happens. I I'm used to it. <laughs> That's a Jojo character. You gotta be used to that thing. Bayonetto. Why are the rolls so bad? By the way, over here you get a guaranteed um, Eye of Cillian, by the way, just saying. What more are you doing next? Uh, Swiggy Bong, Tony Water, hello, welcome. It's gonna be Moonless. However, we're waiting to see if my internet is gonna kick me out or not soon. Is my internet going to die? Or how I fix the issue? Because every single time at 6.30 p.m. my internet dies before I leave. So let's wait and see if I get kicked out of my own connection. It's gonna happen. Am I disconnected? I am am I still live? I hope I'm live. I hope I'm live. I hope I don't get disconnected. Because it's gonna suck. It sucks a lot. Please don't disconnect me. 
Okay. I don't see me disconnecting yet. So maybe. So maybe I am still live. You're still here for now. I am live. I I am just wary of getting disconnected. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Mm. Okay. Alright. Good. <clears throat> it didn't happen. Sure. Fine. Let's continue then. Onwards. Okay. <clears throat> There's stuff we can do here to make this fight easier. First of all, I think Poison is going to be a bitch at some point. And there's not much to, about it. We can put this on, but eh. We can probably get lucky as well. Let's do this fight the normal way without cheesing it that much. So let's go ahead and focus on damage only when we need. First of all, extra turn is very important for this. Let's get Lichmonger and Ring of Rage so we can survive. Alright. Is there a reason why that happens? No clue. I have no idea. I have no idea why. I believe this is a fine build, but I can just go for more damage just for the memes as well. Okay. Not really any food buff needed. <clears throat> I could use a pet build to make this even easier. And this way I can go ahead and equip Ballistic Shield and I have the same agility as before. But with a Ballistic Shield added to it, the mix. Because counter sense, because I have infinite, infinite uh, duration. We can burn Moonless with a gasoline character from here. However, that's gonna cause the Miasma to show up when he arrives, so we don't want to do that per se. Let's go ahead and wait here. Let's get a bow and wave here. And let's get a chainsaw again going. We don't have to guard and waste time guarding. <clears throat> this is when we have to fight Moonless. We have Bow and Wave. We have Counter Sense. We can go ahead and get the Miasma right away. We guard here. We apply bleeding on both paws if he attacks. If she attacks on both paws, we're gonna go ahead and apply ble uh, blinding on the whole body, except the head. Same means the head. It's fine. <coughs> it's doggy. It's doggy. Look at them. Beautiful. Now we go for the dorsal and win because of bleeding. Being kind of strong, too strong for the game. I got all you and her ass. Yeah. The only time that you would go for the black steel, if in case you want to use it in fight, or if you have not killed August, because if August is alive, Moon is gonna retreat, and you cannot get the black steel. But in this mode, you don't have to go for the black steel. We can just wait until she dies. have more bab and wave but it really doesn't matter the fight is almost over how the hell did she get so big wish cuz <laughs> there you go fight's over hey. would you like to give me the, your miasma I guess not. Uh, 
Never mind then. I don't know why, but wait, I did get the the thing, right? Yeah, there is. Sorry, <laughs> there is. Black steel is a weapon that has a lot. I think forty percent. But it's a lot of critical chance, and it's quite the weapon for critic uh, using criticals on enemies. So you can crit every single enemy in the game, more likely. So if you like that weapon, go ahead and use it. What if this is a reference to C from Dark Souls 1? Maybe. Even the music too. Maybe, eh? Could be. Tanaka, what are you doing here? It's really troublesome. What has come of a trip? Especially when you have big meetings scheduled in our city. Tanaka, what are you, what are you saying? Tanaka. <laughs> Tanaka. I'm afraid you're not Tanaka. Oh, are you? You have a doppelganger. Taraga. Is that true? Taraga! No! Let's talk this through. Come on. Let's find peace. Come on. Oh, that's good. Alright. Nice. Now give me your cash money. What's going on? I'm oh, sorry, I, I, I need him. I need him. Sorry, Tanaka. If you hit me, I'm with fire, it will retaliate. It will attack you with horrible magic. That is not something that happens. I uh, no. No one else cables may keep growing. She might have. Welcome back. Am I back? Am I actually back? It's working. People on YouTube, am I back? People on Twitch, am I back? Tell me, please. Hurry, please. Hopefully, I'm back. Oh, I don't see anyone from YouTube saying that I'm back. Am I back? YouTube, am I back? Is he saying I'm back? Yeah. Yeah, you're back. <gasps> and I'm back in black. <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. I, I told you it was going to happen. But, yep. Here we are. Pretty clear. You would have... I don't know why that happens. It, it just happens. I don't know how to stop it. And it's really worrisome. I'm not used to it. I hate it. Didn't get used to it yet. Now you're back. No, you're not back. What do you mean? Anony we or anony way? What the hell? Still frozen for me? Uh, F5 maybe might work for you. Refresh the page, maybe it will work. I why am I typing? This? Uh, maybe refresh the page. Look fine. There we go. I did. I hope I'm back, back. What it happens? I don't know why. I'm gonna go for carrying. What? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sounds like a good idea. That can end up in nightmare. Sounds like a good idea. Can end up in a nightmare if I mess up. Me not. Not yet. Ah, back in action. Hey, welcome. <coughs> I'm back again. Now I need all the agility I want because these things are a run killer for me. I don't want to lose. <coughs> you know? <coughs> Not a good idea. I'm gonna wait until they stop running. There he is. They're very scary. These guys, you don't fight them. Without guns, you don't fight them. Even with guns, you just run away. 
Don't leave us like that again, please. I'm here. I'm here. No, don't say that. No. No, don't say that. <laughs> Here's my uh, Discord in case you want to join to be notified whenever I, I, I stream and whenever I'm available. You just want to be part of the party. <laughs> Listen to me, okay? I like you. And I'm gonna shoot you down because of that fact. It's still from you, because why not? <laughs> Might as well, you know? Tobacco. That's really good, actually. Because he takes away my mind. Like a bitch. Counter <laughs> sense. Telephone against Movistar. Now might be using that name. All six are in Argentina. Uh, I use fire till. Maybe that's what it is, probably. Look, my no arms. Look at the death mask. Oh. Pain. Are no joke. Yeah, mind flares are scary. In any media, they are in. I hated them in Dark Souls. You mean Demon Souls? Oh, Demon Souls. Yeah. I was like, wait a second. You're talking about Demon Souls. I read Dark Souls. Oh, sorry. I hate my players in Demon Souls. They stun you, they hit you in the chest with their nose and then they leave you on the floor. Hate them. Hate them. I hate them a lot. I wanna say they Anonymous this to be anonymous, let's just get fuck you menos grande cosplay like loser or oh, no Oh boy We have Dark Souls on the brain now, yeah Happens to me Wait, did I get another one? You're kidding, right? I have three thermal snakes I'm pretty small thinking about it That's not worth it though I'm so used to that so fear hunger one that I was going to get the cloth from those best sheets. So they took you, yeah, and then they turned to you then tell you yep. Back in D and D they just perma stun you for like ten turns. If they get melee to you are uh, your stun, oh my god. What a miss. My flames feel like you whip. Eat money like Blue Veil. Let's have Pop Saragoff in Buenas Noches. Buenos dias, Mandy. Hang on a second. Oh my god, that was close. <clears throat> we ring around the rose in this bitch. Three lounders. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna get a uh, smoking moment. Is the chest there? No, there's a guy there. Where is the chest again? <clears throat> Over here. Oh. Tails. Shit. 34 turns. You get 3 out of 12 turns to be in 5th edition. You get death. Save so you 3 times sucking your face. What the fuck? What the hell are those things? <laughs> Oh, 
I believe there's uh, one here that I left. Ah, thanks. Good thing I have a lot of ammo because of Levi. Thankfully, Levi gave me a lot of ammo. That's all good. It was almost like ruining situation even if you, it's unneeded. That's true. <laughs> it do be true. And for the absolutely pathetic at everything else, immediate mental attacks. A simple club will destroy them if you feel level 1. They cannot physically find D&D. &D. So they're not that scary as I, you make them out to be, I guess, in a way. That's good. I'm scared of them, based on how you describe them. Mm -hmm. Let's get the heartless one to come out from their shell. I'm gonna go ahead and kill Karen before uh, doing this, I think. It would be a good idea. Because Karen opens up the ability to kill... Uh, the ability to kill... Samari easily. Because you win uh, an extra turn because of uh, the speech. I don't think Karen is gonna be that much said it to us. That's really funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really funny to be honest. Hey, that is your brain is no bueno in my book. That's true. Oh, it is. You know. Put the head here. Cause why not? We're gonna get the heads from the other place later. Welcome back. Oh, this one's I guess as well. You can actually, if you're willing to chase this game, you can actually leave one or two enemies here to farm mine from with uh. The battle stones, by the way. Sound like a pop star belting out and out. Do <laughs> <laughs> it like that? Do it true? The true F hundred two is easier to get over than Fear Hang One. I haven't played it yet, so I've been mostly watching snippets. So it's looking for yes, Broxis. Fear Hang Two is easier to get overpowered because of so many spells that you get. Fear Hang One you can only get like a few spells. Even then you're still gonna uh, be a be harassed by a lot of stuff in the game. When I get a pepper here going, so I can feel better about myself. Let's uh, get the Ring of Wraith, and let's get Validity Shield, and I am guessing uh, here I get <coughs> Lich Monger, I guess so. Could be nice, any of them. I guess I can cast Bow and Weave turn one as well. It's gonna help a lot. I don't have my chainsaw equipped. Hmm. Okay. Let's take it easy then. Since I forgot my chainsaw. If you're using Chainsaw here, you can just go ahead and just go for the doors on your win in two turns. But I'm gonna have to take it easy because I forgot to equip it. It's not like that they're that strong of an enemy to kill them with punches only. I pick Marco, I was I was asked to do a Marco run in Master Mode, like a guy. That's the reason why I picked Marco. If I could, I would pick a better character for Massimo, which is Osa, Olivia, or Marina. Any mages work. Physical damage is nerfed in this game. You must rely on, on damage from a percentage, like poison, like fire, like bleeding, for example. Any status effects that you apply on enemy will help you a lot in your place. Right? <clears throat> you know? 
also black smoke stacks with bob and whip so it's kind of an easy way to deal with this thing there you go your head yeah, i forgot my chainsaw I forgot my do. So weird that they healed 30 HP in this game compared to the Hanger one that heals you 20 the blue vials. That's so crazy. The difference between the two games. When you talk to most Crush Karen, she just reminds you that she has covered wars. It's like, you know I covered wars, right? It's like, yes, I did. I don't remember you. Sure? Yeah. Sure? He does again. Yes. Yes, I do remember. You're not lying, right? It's like, <laughs> no, I'm not lying. <laughs> Sorry. What am I doing? Let me get the... Wait, why am I going here? Oh, not here. Give me out. Give me out. What if? I need to... I need to get the heads from this place, because why not? I will help you out with this. You don't really need the heads for this. I'm mostly in them to allow you guys to see ways that you can play this challenge that I'm doing. Even with a meat grinder, I don't want to kill these guys. They're quite a threat, to be honest. And this uh, guy will come out from the, the, the from the coffin as soon as I go for him. How many heads do I have? I wish. I guess I gotta go to the left to get more. I have five soul stones only. Uh, I wanna get a lot of stuff here, so might as well allow myself to summon this guy first. I forgot to equip myself one more for speed over here. It's fine. Alright, just joined the Discord thing for the but no problem. Anytime, buddy. Welcome. Wait, 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 wait. Come to Weaver. Let me get that. Juicy tobacco. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. <clears throat> For this much left arm is got Mr. Baby Kitten. Oh, <laughs> I love that. That's beautiful. Like I said before, uh, physical damage is not that good for a playthrough. Are you going to fight hardest one? Yes. People ask me in the chat to fight it, so might as well fight it. If you want to know how to do it, might as well do it. So. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I haven't, I haven't played Fall of War, so I wouldn't know. I don't believe I will suffer against these guys in any way, so I'm gonna fight them. The only thing I will do here, maybe, I'm gonna guard first. So I don't just, you know, throw the match completely. <clears throat> That's just, I was just enough damage to kill it, by the way. Me and it's hard to kill these things. Is this enough damage without a red point? It is. Barely it is, but it is. It's amazing how little damage physical damage does to you. <clears throat> physical damage does like nothing almost in this mode. Crazy. Oh, this guy is on the corner because of my. Thing. I totally forgot. Come here. My killing intent. Mm 
you don't have to go through all the bills that I'm going through right now for you to be able to have a successful playthrough of Free Hunger 2 with Marco. However, it helps you see how many you know choices you have. You can go with a chainsaw, you can go and make the fire weapon as well. You can make the heroin sword as well with the one that poisons you. You can go ahead and become a mage as well. You can go ahead and get Persuade. You can just burn the enemies with a lantern and that's it easily as that. There's a lot of ways to tackle this game that you have. You're not stuck with just one way of playing, which is really helpful for people who want to experiment. I'm not killing the hardest one yet, maybe later. <clears throat> Because there's a lot more preparation to it that I want to go through first. We have nine. That should be enough. We need four for Persuade. And we need three for Spice Forge into... Uh, well, yeah, Spice Forge into Meditation. Into Perfect Guard probably, so four. Wish we could use Needle's Whip. That would be nice. Maybe that would be the next crafting from... A vela, if you think about it, that would be that would be fitting. What's a heroin sword? Heroin sword is a weapon that a vela can craft, which is this one. It needs an officer sword, which only a vela can start out with, uh, guaranteed to happen. You can get it with a vela right away at the start of the game. So it's a sword that poisons the enemy with a hundred percent chance to apply it. But the best weapon to use out of a Vela's kit will all be, always be the the thing. Um, what is it called? The chainsaw. Uh, by the way, there's a chest here we can get. What if we imagine if doors became any attack back? I want a mimic enemy. I want a mimic enemy of a door of a chest in this game. I want mimics. Like Dark Souls 1, for example. Yeah, I thought I bought, uh, I bought the game yesterday and I don't know how to hit the soft heads. You need to get a bonsa. You need to get a bonsa. There's one guaranteed uh, near the mayor, which is near where you find Henrik. And you need to go down the list until you find it. It's hidden from players. I don't know why it's hidden. But it is hidden. Also, I can start with the official sword via text energy, right? Yep, he can also start with it. True, true, true. He can also start with a uh, small thing template, which is really important. No problem, buddy. Uh, kind of want to kill this guy, though. I want to kill Caligula. Eh? <clears throat> yeah, the closest thing is about double ganger, I guess, but eh, it's not the same, you know. I'm gonna say. Equip or do or what? No, uh, I'll I'll kill an enemy, and I'll show you where the option is. But you gotta get on top of an enemy, and click the option that is on the bottom. All side is ready. Yeah, I guess I didn't see it on the option. Today. Just go down, and there's more options by going downwards. You gotta keep going down on the list. You'll find it. I'll show you. Don't worry. Don't believe I can open this with a chainsaw. So that was damage. This is mine. Hey. Mm -hmm. To go from the front. Get the broom, the most overpowered weapon in the game. Of course it's not, by the way, I'm maiming. Allow me to maim in peace. Very peace. <clears throat> Head. Push mark. Iron Sphere. Nice. Nice! Why am I getting so much shitty loot, to be honest? I, can I can't even count it, that's why I say much. I can't even count how much bullshit I'm getting. Holy moly. 
what if I, what if I fail coin flip on a chest, had a chance to activate a, tr a trap, and you get poison, like in Dark Souls 2, I think that would suck. I think that would suck. To be honest, I would hate that. I wanna get the ammo. Oh my god, it's a hat. Room only raccoon when, if only you could use a room, I would just make that a thing tomorrow. But nope, cannot. Wouldn't. Cannot. Tails. By the way, to anyone who has been seeing the raccoon emote on the top right, that is done by a friend of mine who I think needs more people supporting them. Her name is Tammy. So please go ahead and tell her that her art is amazing and give her a follow and support her if you can with a commission or two because she is amazing at her art that beautiful raccoon this one made by Tammy her art is amazing and she should be supported by everyone everyone sorry if you need more faith in your coin flips I don't have any faith in them I don't I don't I don't I don't no never mm. nunca <clears throat> I'm probably not gonna need to make a habit of uh, placing images on the top right here for you guys to see because I have a lot of uh, drawings made. Need for me. I don't want to fight this guy right now of all times, but sure. So the thing about this guy, yeah, like he's a mess because if you guard, you take more damage from him. So the fights against this guy are usually completely crazy. And you should never guard against this nauseous status, otherwise you take more damage. Be careful when fighting this thing. He's not a joke of an enemy. He is a threat. So I'm gonna go as prepared as I can to fight this thing. All right. The faster I apply bleeding, the, ble the better. So I can win faster. Look at that damage from bleeding. A thousand. He should die here because I got a critical, so that should be the fight. Okay, no. He is very scary. Okay. You don't want to fight this thing. The only reason I, I didn't have any trouble there was because of my chainsaw. He is a mess to fight. Be careful with that guy. Again, he's not a joke. Choke on my balls. Yeah, even though he said that and it's very funny, he's not a joke. Be careful with that thing. Be careful. That thing is not a joke. It's very strong. That's some nightmare feel. Yeah. Okay, shit. Okay, now that that guy is out of the equation, I can go for. Oh, shoot, Granny. Yeah, it's not a Granny, but it's okay. Kinda looks like Granny. I think I want it. Maybe. We should be down there. It's a giant nut sack. Makes sense. Okay. Uh. Oh. 
Pum, pum, pum. Pum, pum. Ow. We can go against Sergio. Let me get this uh, item that I have here. When I get the battle stone yet, although I will need it later if I think about it. When I get this, I'm gonna read this. Craft my notes, it's called. Look at them, they're amazing. And now, because I read the graph and notes, I can see that now every single FG is marked in the game. So if you're making, if you're getting someone into the game, make sure to make them read this graph and notes, and you'll see what the FGs are. As you can see, they're marking them up. What's that a cleric beast? I don't know what it is. I have no idea. It's a monster. It's called monster, by the way. Your knowledge of the game is outstanding to you. Thank you. Thank you. I explained it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tails. What to do against the mob as Osa? Osa is the one that can deal with the mob. He's the, the easiest character that can deal with the mob. Make sure to get Gorogorot. That is all I can tell you. Get Gorogorot to level 2. Start with Spiceforge White on Black Smog. That's it. That's all you need. That's all you need? <laughs> easiest, easiest fight in your life. Wait, there's more here to loot on the right. Give me. This shit. Yeah, Osa is really, really easy as a main character. Now, the moment where Osa becomes a threat is when you gotta kill him right now. I'm gonna have to kill Osa very soon, and he's not a joke to deal with. He's a threat. Uh... This guy moves at slow mo. Oh my god, he's so fast. Ooh. Damn it! He says. Damn it. Ooh. Damn. The third girl, they look like a cleric. He's separately top off. Oh? Did he kill this guy? Oh. Put up. Might as well shoot into this. Imagine dying. So I got. Beautiful. Mm. Could have stole a sword from me if you think about it as well. But I forgot. It's fine. You look kind of weird, to be honest. Sure, you're from this world? Weird. I hate him. I hate him. Very weird. Oh! Yeah, he's nothing. Listen. I'm gonna talk to you. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I did that. I misclicked, I'm guessing. You with it. Fuck you. Oh, that guy moves fast. <laughs> I'm just like that. <clears throat> now one goes down. Don't even know why the damage works like that. Don't ask me. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, by the way, in case you want to deal with the other guy, I'm guessing I gotta open this. 
Now let's hope. Let's equip three small things. I'm right. You only need two, by the way. So I'm just gonna use it like this. Any magic resist will be fine against uh, Marina. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna be fighting Marina. This is a really hard fight, guys. So make sure to pay attention how to do this because there's something very important here. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna run away from this guy because he's serves no purpose to fight him. There we go, he's stuck. Even though it looks like he's actually next to me, he's not. Don't worry about it, guys. Now from Marina. And that's Marina for the N64. I hope you like it. It was a really hard fight. I honestly have no idea how I survived. It was quite a tough fight, nonetheless. But I gotta say, it was enjoyable. But it was fun. You know what he's gonna You knew it. You know it. Now here's the actual threat here. Here's an actual threat of the run that I am actually scared of losing against. I'm gonna check out online exactly which is the helmet that prevents stuns. Because this thing is not a joke. You cannot mess up against this thing. Okay. Be careful with Osa's moose coach. Let me look up. Okay, Style Helm prevents concussion and Dragon Helmet. Nothing else that prevents concussion. Yep. Oh, even the Bremen, Bremen Elite Helmet. Okay, so this one does prevent concussion. What, what, what? <laughs> yep, how it is. So this thing might kill me here. Okay, we're gonna try our best to not die. Because there's a lot here that's gonna happen. This small thing is for our next turn. Ring of Ray to survive. It's all the more negative, I very actually, but I don't know. We're relying on healing a lot and trying to not die to him as much as we can. We might as well get some damage here going on. Yeah, he's a quite a threat to be honest. Thank you. And anyway. This is probably going to be death though. But if I guard here I have less chances of dying. Because hurting will do less damage. It is a strong enemy to fight, so be careful when fighting this. Good. He didn't do anything. He is able to ruin your game. Like I said before, don't fight this guy if you haven't saved. This, this guy is not an easy fight. He's a menace. Be careful. Okay. Next fight. It's not that hard. So we can just chill here. Uh, let's go ahead and <clears throat> get... Um, I'm guessing ring, uh, yeah, ring of Wraith will be nice. So we can keep up with the healing. We guard the first turn because it's the best thing you can do against any boss and any enemy in the game. Guarding promise you rely on luck. And the next turn we can go ahead and bob and weave and guard again. You never rely on bob and weave without guarding. Don't treat bob and weave like guarding. You don't want to do that. There is a lot of people that treat bob and weave like guarding. Don't do that. 
If we don't guard in your in your normal turn and only attack in your extra turn, you're doing something wrong. You need to treat Bob and Weave as his own thing. It's not gonna get you out of trouble. Be careful. He is the kind of, in a way, a damage check. However, you can take it easy and do it slowly like I'm doing. You don't have to force yourself into just, you know, being fast about it. You can take this fight easy. And slowly. Don't bab and weave if we don't have guarding. Like, if, you don't, if you're not going to guard, don't bab and weave. That's it. Guard and then bab and weave and then guard again. Because our whip is not guarding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do not do that. No, no, no. It's bad. It's illegal. I have so many bad memories on this face. Because of the crowd, only Olivia that I did. What a mess of a playthrough that was. Stone we got from a chest, that's crazy. I mean, from a, a crate. <clears throat> we got tails. Don't do it to me, Nils. I'm not going for Pab's body. Because I am scared. And that's the only reason why. I'm gonna go for it after I save. Mm, head, Argars, good. But the thing is, many players rely on Bob and Weave because it dodges, but they do not take into account the Gavarius' damage. You get hit over and over and Bob Weave, you get destroyed anyways. Yeah. It's true. Bob and Weave, Rock Stone. Beautiful. Okay. Now here we get... Meditation into Spice Forge. And we get out of the Texan. It's not Diddy to do this. Olivia Crowley playthrough? Yep. I've done Olivia Crawling only. In my channel. In case you want to see more challenges that I did. I have a playlist that has all the challenges that I've done. Uh, let me get to it. Nope, nope, no, 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 not that one. Where is it? There he is. Here's the playlist. All and all and all of the challenges that I've done are here. I did crawl only Olivia, for example. That's one of them. We go ahead and now we get meditation. I mean, perfect guard. If we want, I don't really care though. Are you playing Fly Forge? I will. Good enough. Let me get stuff around first. <clears throat> I'm not gonna get uh, perfect guard because I don't need it because I have swarm snake. Let's see. Gamma machine, yeah. Ingrave is really good. Uh, great med meditation doesn't work, so just get meditation. It does the same. <clears throat> Guess I'm gonna go ahead and get this, cause why not? Refine like this, I think. Let's say while Raccoon was doing different playthroughs, while I was still farming with Pine Coffee. In a way, yeah, that's true. That could be true. <clears throat> All right, Spice Forge. First of all, uh, let's go ahead and engrave. You need to engrave speed. It's the only one useful, sadly. We might get more buffs to the other one, but speed is the only one that allows you to break the game. Because speed, like I said, is broken. Now we only need one small thing to have it. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and, and guess in. We're gonna be killing uh Samari, so 
either be hitting wizard or more damage right away. <clears throat> now we can save here. And we're going to be doing a lot of killing now. We're going to be killing all the contestants that are needed, as well as we're getting the, uh, the forest. So, let's see. Yeah, pretty fine to save here. I'll explain to you what Spice Forge does. I have it explained in my skills guide in my video, where I show every single one of the abilities in the game, as well as I have a skill tier list that also explains why each ability is good. But for example, we have here White. White is whenever you start the fight, the ability is casted on random enemies. This is good for AoE attacks that will not miss because they attack every single enemy in the game. Red allows you to attack twice. You hit twice in a random limb or sometimes at a specific limb. You hit twice. And blue costs less mana and doesn't use any red points. All right, gotta head out. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great, happy uh, fourth of July. See you, see you. Thank you. See you, see you, see you, my fang. Thank you for being here. Uh, also, it makes um, um, more abilities more use, uh, even more useful. For example, Mischief of Rats has a 100% chance to uh, hit every single body and stun. The accuracy might fail, however, it's always going to stun. That's an example. It depends on what you're going to use. For me right now, my bread and butter are going to be white spice. I mean, white spice on black smoke. So the enemies cannot ever hit me in the entire playthrough. That's going to be my whole build for now. So, uh, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, how's it going? What up? Banana raid. Hey, so, uh, thank you so much. How's it going? Thank you for the raid. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? What up? <laughs> Sir Frogo, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Thank you for the raid so much. What are you playing? Oh, you know what? Give me a second. I know I I came up with this spot that... Wow, this spot. This spot is amazing. You, you go ahead and you say, uh, make, uh, make sure to follow and support my friend and then i go ahead and type the link and just like that look at that what a beautiful bot i have <laughs> hope you're having a good one i don't know how to shadow people i'm sorry <laughs> i suck i think i need to have night bot probably on twitch but yeah thank you so much <laughs> What were you playing? Tell me. What up? I wanna know. I've been playing Terminal the whole day doing a guide on Marco. Or Massimo. Oh. Is that a pocket cat? I don't wanna fight you. You can use SO username. I tried that. It didn't work for some reason. Look at this. Look at this. I'm, I'm gonna try, okay? I'm gonna try. For some reason, it doesn't work. I, need, I think I need to summon them. Getting assaulted by a... Uh... Oh. Is Twitch integrated? It's not working for me. Look at that, see? I don't know why it doesn't work. It's so weird. We need to keep the arms, so it's almost like... Uh, we need to have one solid thing somewhere, so we have enough speed. We're gonna go ahead and... survive here by dealing damage. Nah, that's fine. I think it's fine like this. Only up. No, it oh, okay, okay. I cannot get into only up. It doesn't seem like my game, sadly. But I'm really glad that people are getting into it. It's all making for your hunger moment. All right. <clears throat> I always will be there watching you. I will always be there watching you, by the way. Whenever you come back to it. You know that. Oh, this one is easy. Just go for the head and you win. Oh, I missed. Wait. So we thank you. Hey, anytime. There you go. Thank you for your mods. All you've done. We're coming to the meeting. Hey. Thank you. Rizzi was taking. Thank you so much for following Twitch. 
go to bed and beat. Sleep well and thank you so much for your lovely words and your raid. You're amazing. And I hope more people watch you play. We're gonna hang out when you come back. So you're an amazing content creator. Good night. Good night. See ya. Tanaka. Tanaka, Tanaka, Tanaka. I actually don't remember if I can shoot you, but you are a mess to deal with. Now, let's see. We will look up what prevents permanent blindness. Because this thing can permanently blind you if you're not careful. Okay? Mm. Anytime I see you, all come, we will straight back to you. Aww. Do be a cute Sonia. Hey, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Prevents blindness. Okay, Bremen Elite Helmet prevents blindness. So if you got this armor, this helmet, I mean, you can actually prevent the uh, blindness from this guy. You can also use the Bremen gas mask. But it's better if you just probably shoot this guy out. Because you can actually shoot him. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you here. You can shoot him down in case you wanna fight him because he's he's scary. Don't don't fight Tanaka. He's scary. He's a mess. Like every other character in the game, he's a mess to fight. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get some delicious evasion buff. So I have an easier time with him. We black smoke, so they have a lesser chance to hit me. Morning waits no one. Morning has gold in store. In its mouth, the grind never stops. Are you alright? Look injured. This place is awakening something in me. What you see on the outside is but a fraction of the change I've gone through. Gone through the glass ceiling that once might have hindered me. You see me now, father. Sorry, Tanaka. You're gonna be playable soon, so don't worry. Sigma guys with Tanaka. <laughs> when I play the maracas, I go chicky chicky boom, chicky chicky boom boom. Can you guys give it smooth scores in my opinion? For me, it's Levi. I have such trouble listening to the audio of crying. I love it. It, makes, it fills me with dread, to be honest, whenever I see it. I think my bird gets down. Get the word the worm. <laughs> okay, so here's something you can do here, which is very interesting. You can go ahead. You can do it from here or like this if you want. But you can do this and get two items at once. If you cannot decide if you go a mage or a physical character, which is right me right now, I cannot decide if to go a mage or a fucking physical character, I guess. Now, now, now. I believe it's going down here. Then over here is this place. <laughs> oh. Heroin. Oh. Hey, pocket cat. How's it going? Strange. <clears throat> Let's type. Someday I will read you, pocket cat. Not now, though. Make sure to keep pocket cat alive for your playthrough of Massimo. Do not kill him early. Have him be the last one that you kill because you want those saves. <clears throat> Even if you're doing a challenge, you want those saves. You don't want to get rid of Pocket Cat. Don't kill him. Uh. It's a po. It's a po po. Posi gato. Hey. I actually forgot this puzzle. Hopefully I remember how it is. 
Oh my god, I should remember. <clears throat> oh shit. Place him. Let me go ahead and get the items here. I'm not gonna go through ending A yet because also I need also another generator still up for me to tackle. So don't go here yet. Let's see. We go home. <clears throat> by Picasso. Really? What was that? Born by Picasso? I don't know about you, Lord. What about it? Pocket cat. Poker cat. Hello, you guys. Born by Picasso. Look at him being beautiful. Love him, even though he's dead. We get this arm, which is broken. This armor will allow you to not lose any limbs. By the way, it's really fucking good. If you wanna just have that right away, it's a beautiful armor. And it allows you to fight the Heartless and not suffer, I guess, the Heartless that much. I don't remember if I need another thing to loot here. I don't believe so. I believe I, believe I can just leave here. Yeah, I got everything. I can just leave. Okay. So right now... I gotta go ahead and kill some people. Where do I go? Thanks for teaching. Anytime, buddy. Let's go ahead and kill Samarwin. Spanish artist too. Wait. I'm gonna go ahead and get the body of Pav. But I'm gonna do it the right way, which is coming from the right. Because every single time that you transition a screen from outside, you lose five seconds on the timer of rare. So you're gonna get Moosecorch if you go up there and then come back down. Did you know that Darkness is better armor for Heartless? I'm gonna find you, Professor. I don't know where you are, but I'm gonna find you. <laughs> God damn it. Because of my impression, I think he sounds like Austin Powers now. Oh no. What did Mao do? It's a question. <clears throat> what did he do today? Alright. This actually is not a good idea. I'm gonna go through the church because I don't like getting moon scorched by the moon because of bad luck. It's not something I want. <clears throat> We have a booby trap. We only have to, honestly, like, uh, those things are not that strong. <clears throat> I can show you why. <clears throat> but just in case, I'm gonna equip this. Just in case. I'll fight them. But I don't like fighting these things because they look very scary. But you pretty much, you first spice, or you can just go ahead and start with persuade. Any of those openings work. You persuade saying, I'm just trying to get to main. And Apollo just leaves, uh, you will leave. And then you win a turn like this. And then afterwards, they will bleed to death. Because the chainsaw or any kind of uh, damage that does DPS will be enough for you to deal with them. Hello, Hope and Steam. How's it going? Would it? Welcome. Make a more sensors, booby traps. Why? <laughs> Why? Which is that? Oh, you guys sound like a similar. Yeah, I know, I know. Why? Oh, oh, behave. <laughs> I hate it. 
Do we gotta watch that movie someday? Maybe not. If you are calling someone naughty. Oh no. I need to watch that movie someday. Maybe. I've seen some clips of it, mostly, but nothing else. I'm going to hope, though. What up, hope? Tell me. How's your life going? <clears throat> Don't believe I can... Yeah, I can. Okay. So it's time... Okay, another thing. Do not have Spice Forge equip it, equipped against the octopus here. The mind flayers don't have it. Don't get it. If you use it and you spice forge into an octopus, you lose the game. Easy as that. I'm gonna save through here because I actually fear Samari quite a lot. I fear Samari a lot. And the way I deal with them. And we have two book alignment and then we're gonna get another one soon so that's good oh you guys are massive nonce what's a nonce <clears throat> hmm i never actually tried this i want to see the damage of three stole the bar necklace I'm just kidding, of course I can't do that, this is a guy. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody removes limbs, so once you have fluid armor, you have the face engraved. You can go ahead and put one small thing template, and that should be enough for you to carry yourself through this fight. You can also have a beheaded wizard if you killed Osa. You can also just go for pure damage on this. M magic against Samurai is a lot easier, and I'll do my own magic run at some point to show you exactly what I mean. But this should be the build that you gotta go with. So you're gonna use time. Of course, you might as well have a death mask so more magic resist. Talk to her and say that you wanna talk. So she loses a turn. I believe her head has no blood chance because of Rupa said so, so go for the head. Oh, I see. Scary. It, yep, that's scary. Yeah. No evasion at all, almost. Like the body. Let's put it that way. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Should be able to kill the heartless now. And I should probably do it right now, since I have a save very close to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill Harless to show you guys how to do it. Since she's gonna be a monster later if I actually leave her alive. So, <clears throat> first thing first, for Harless, get yourself Pepios. That's a must. The more speed you have, the better it's gonna be for you. Because of how she works. The more speed you have, the more evasion you're gonna get. Get evasion as well. If you want armor, go ahead and get armor. I don't really care about armor, so I'm not even gonna get it. Maybe? Yeah, why not? Wait, that's not actually armor. Maybe? No. I don't wanna get armor. I, I, I'm fine like this. <clears throat> Just evasion. Uh, you need to apply bleeding on the body as fast as you can. That's the whole fight. And make sure to get everything that gi gives you magic resist. Because this enemy does a lot of magic damage. That's it. That is the whole point of the fight. I think even this would be a really good build, to be honest, to reduce damage. Because everything she has is magic damage. Of course, not everyone is going to get three salt of our necklace, so we're not going to be doing that. We're going to go ahead and get fluid armor, so we don't lose limbs. And we're going to go ahead and get Ring of Raid, so we can continue healing in extra turn. Would be nice. But we can also go ahead and get... Hmm, this is kind of tricky here. There's a lot of things to do. We mostly prioritize on defensive play here. More than anything. 
So the more defense we have, the better it's going to be for us. Yeah, I guess two combines really well with Leech Monger, so that's why I have it right now. I think it's a really good build. You can do however you want. Yeah, it, it depends. So you can do this fight in many ways. This is how I choose to do it. You can do it however you, you wish, of course. Because this is a hard fight that you don't have to take at all. So you're free to just ignore it. So you get from head, Merchant also has an oil position. Yep. Very useful. Hello. How's it going? J-K-S-X-U-D. What up? By the way, don't use Spice Force against this. You don't want the second phase of her to be faster of coming out. So don't use Spice Force against her. Now, because I'm ballsy enough, I'm going to go for the body right away. I think this is a really good idea. Although we could have, could have a counter stance, so we can start applying bleeding on every single part of the body as well. As far as we can, as fast as we can, sorry. <clears throat> Both are really threatening, the left arm and the torso. So this is up to you and to where to go. Both are difficult. You can also use a purifying talisman to reduce the damage you take. I forgot to do that. It's not important, but you can do that. So we both have a low head duration. Not all of them, only some of them have. That one boss is better to go for the head, for example. 2,100 damage. You saw it, right? Oh, I died. <laughs> well, see, I told you. I told you what's gonna happen. <laughs> It was gonna happen. That's the first death, by the way, guys. From this guy. First death. But the best thing you can do in this fight is to not do it. There is no reason for you to fight this thing. There is no reason to fight this thing. The best way to deal with the Heartless is that you don't deal with the Heartless. Easy as that. But I'm gonna show you guys how you can win this. You're sitting there, hey, you what up? Welcome, Jess. How's it going? Uh, yeah, the best way to deal with this is to not fight it. It really is as simple as that. They hit it with certain small things. Not even counter stats work sometimes, so it's kind of weird. Counter stats does work a lot against that, but for some reason, it sometimes doesn't work. Weird. Let's go with two small things, which is something that everyone will be getting up to this point. Which is going to help a lot when it comes to fighting this thing. You can get a cameo. What did you get from it? Ah, uh, Not that much, to be honest. Not that much, to be completely honest with you. You can steal a Iagetsu here. Make the fight go faster. But it's not even worth it, to be honest. I'm going to go for it again. Have we fought the ghosts yet? I don't fight the ghosts. That's one fight I can tell you easily, do not do it, because it's not important. Easy as that. <clears throat> I don't have healing from attacking, so I'm most relying on the damage from my bleed, by the way, right now. <clears throat> I don't get anything from killing here, from attacking. <clears throat> this is mostly a defensive play when it comes to Master Mode, if you're playing a physical damage character. You rely on the surviving. <laughs> this is the whole fight, by the way. The surviving and trying to not get killed. This is the whole fight. And yes, it's a mess. Because you rely on luck the whole time. <clears throat> As a physical character, you rely on luck so much. If you are a mage character, you can one-shot the Heartless in turn one. That's one example. If it is turn one, you can one-shot the Heartless right away. There's more stuff to uh, learn for, like things you can do here. For example, you can go ahead and get this armor for magic resist, this armor for magic resist, and then have a salmon snake, and maybe more magic resist like this. Of course, you need speed. 
we ought to have the extra turn because she lowers your speed each turn. And you're just going to have to rely on luck until you have enough to survive. Physical damage doesn't really do much in a playthrough of Master Mode, which is really bothersome. To be honest. Now I think I know it's heroin yourself, but right now we still have a lot of places to go, so we don't really want to heroin. Oh, they buffed it. You know, his sign, blah, blah, blah. It's more for the win. Eh. It doesn't do much here, sadly. Because I need to be three turns ahead to have a proper use of Lichmonger. And by then, I'm gonna be probably dead. We can go for the arm if you want, like to vary here, but going for the arm or torso is still the same thing here. It doesn't really change much. You still do the same thing, which is getting lucky. And dodging as much as you can. It's just you and her getting lucky. That is it. That is the whole fight. And not much here. And that's a really strong attack to use from the Heartless. That is undodgeable. It's really hard. There you go. <clears throat> I hate the Heartless with a physical character build. Because it's really difficult to deal with her. Now, I showed you what's the experience of a physical damage character. Guarding Cami is a lifesaver. Anything that allows you to survive, like the tankier you can get, the better it is, of course. But right now, the only thing I can probably do to be able to win. You can lower your aggressive for how you avoid that. Just go ahead and equip uh, this item. The Purifying Talisman, which helps a lot as well. But this, uh, you remove it with this. You also have Purifying Talisman for less damage taken. Now, we're gonna go ahead and fight it like a bitch because there is nothing to do here for a physical damage character. So we are going to build something that can actually deal with them. Which first of all is speed. I like this, quite the speed. We have a hidden wizard, we can re return damage. We have this much we can survive. And one of the things we're going to do here is we're going to use an ornamental lantern at the start of the fight. We're also going to use a profile attachment because why not? It doesn't really do much when it comes to like changing how the fight goes. But it is fine. And we can also get a food buff and increase his defense in case you want. I don't know where the fuck the food buff that like, gives you defense is. Oh, it's this one, right? No, wait. Oh, this one. The goulash. Alright. And with all this combined, and the pepper's force, the fight will be a lot easier. But it's bothersome because you have to spend so much for this fight. It's quite troublesome. It is a difficult fight. Like I said before, if you're using a magic build, this fight is easy. You do it turn one. <laughs> but I'm not a magic user. We RNG for burn damage. Turn one. If it doesn't work, we don't get much from it. That's it. That does a lot of damage. I cannot be uh, dodged. It didn't burn, so we have lost, sadly. But that is the whole fight. You apply bleeding and you apply burning, and that is the whole fight. But if you miss one of them, it is what it is. You gotta rely on luck now. And she's not gonna hit all the attacks that she has. <clears throat> wait, wait. Let's see. Do I get to burn her? Is the question. I already spent a lot, to be honest. I think I cannot burn. I gotta rely on just carding here, <clears throat> which is worse. He's not using the pillar of light, that's good. I get to have four again. Okay, I got lucky there. This is the whole fight. 
get lucky and you win. Might as well just go and go for the torso. And now we guard. Mm. Okay, Curse of Light again. We're not taking damage from that. Feather Rain. Marco has ants in the pants. It's like, oh, here you go. Oh, there you go. And now the reason why you kill the Heartless is because you want to have this item. A Yagi's Omelette. You can have three Yagi's Omelettes if you do it right in a playthrough. And it helps quite a bit. That's it. It is not a worth fight if you don't have to fight her. The best thing you can do is to not fight her and just ignore her. It's not worth fighting. <clears throat> and then you get Red Virtue, which is a lot better in, in Master Mode because of magic damage. It gives you magic damage and scales with physical damage. However, I'm going with bleeding damage and I'm not going to be using Red Virtue because no sane person will be fighting the hardest one in a run like this. There is no need to fight it. Then for the darkness, I will not be using it because you guys are not going to be fighting uh, that thing at all. You're not going to fight it. You, you shouldn't. There's no reason to fight it. Now we need to kill Samurai again. I mean, she checked the boss. Yeah, it's pretty much like that. Which kind of sucks because it just it just relies on luck. They should nerf dots. They never nerf them. You can choose to use it or not as well, bro. So remember that. You don't you're not really forced to use it. What's agree on you guys? So with three amulets, I don't know. Professor, would you like to tell you to tell them what it is? Well, we killed Sari already, so you might as well see what happens with Piri Yagetsu. And Black Steel. Might as well show you here. And Spice Forge. Black Smoke, so I can have another red point right away. I need this in case it messes up. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's fine. That looks fine to me. That might be a bad idea though. I can actually die here. Mm. Do I really want to uh, show this? I guess I do want to show it. This might be death, by the way. Here, that is a great chance that he has. Hope you enjoy it. As you can see, it's not that much. Because I missed it. And that's the only reason why I think it's not that much. Because I missed it. Cheers. Hey, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Wait, do I have combination? I do. It seems a lot better than the great chance. Yep, it is very much true. <clears throat> Good damn. Yep. Got some things to do, but keep lurking. Hey! Thank you, Charlie. You're amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we have to kill. Um. 
Who am I missing? I'm kill. I'm, miss, I'm missing Pocket Cat, and I believe that's the only one I'm missing. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do another fight. I think I'm missing the Pocket Cat. I'm missing my mind, and I'm not sure if I'm missing something else. We killed Levi, we killed Avela, we killed Henrik, we killed Caligula, we killed Samari, we killed Morena, we killed Osa, we killed Karen. How do you think the animation? Nope. Still happens every now and then. We killed Pav. We didn't kill Pocket Cat. I think it's anyone else is missing. I fell asleep. Oh no! It's fine, Sarah. They say my voice is quite, you know, the one that makes people sleep. I'm lurking while making dinner too. That's not, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The best way to check if someone is dead or not is to check the hexen. Think about it. So let me ju just check this hexen right away and see if I have what I'm missing. Uh-huh, <clears throat> uh-huh, uh-huh. Barrier trauma. That's Pav. You cannot get Pav soul. You cannot get um, this guy soul either, uh, August. Yeah, I'm only missing that. Okay, good. How's my goal with running that? He always runs like that. He always runs like that. He is not surprised that he runs like that. The more agility, the better, of course. Cause. That's it, it just be. You can also get poison to make the fights easier. However, you don't need to. Like, if you're going to go might meet grinder just get bleeding and that's it but if you want more damage you can go poison i'm not gonna say no to you so just using it of course you can use it if you want easily <clears throat> all right let's see let's see let's wait am i live <clears throat> all right eh. am i live that is the question of everyone asking right now. <clears throat> Am I live? Is this a live moment? I live in... Alright. I don't know why, but we're dodging the disconnects and that's really freaking good. Alright, let's keep going then. <laughs> Can I chop in my end? Hopefully it gets better now. I'm sorry guys for this, by the way. I don't know why that happens. You don't mind me asking, where's your accent from? I'm from Argentina. Hello. Welcome. That's why I hit it on Black Smoke on turn one. Crisco makes the Frisco. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, 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 welcome. What up? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. For this fight, I want always Bob and Wave. Because it's a beautiful thing to have. Yeah, hello there. We get Black Smoke right away. Because I'm scared. Hello there. <laughs> I'll behave. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, nice for Robin.
There is. Give me your hair. When do you get darkness instead of fluid armor? I can't. This is a guide for people who are not going to be killing heartless. I'm going to be showing equipment that people can use without a heartless. Being killed. Also, oh, Dark, I see what you mean by Lady Cassin doing great work. I'm so excited to see how mine is up. See, I know. It's beautiful. Yeah, he got a voice acting. Yep. <laughs> Didn't get him before. He got <laughs> rough enough. Or is to have another rubbing, isn't he? Yep. He is the one that rubs. Also, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna save here because I wanna show you two things. First of all, let me get my mind up to max amount. Maximo. Um, let's see. So this is not important in any way, shape or form. But I might as well show you, right? What you want here is to equip yourself with as much speed as possible okay this fight <clears throat> it will test your speed okay this fight is no joke a mess and it's a lot easier to fight it without physical damage but with magic damage you wouldn't be fighting this with a meat grinder because you cannot bleed. So I am down here to actually use the darkness and red virtue. Okay. I'll show you exactly how this works. We're gonna be fighting something very threatening to us. But like I said before, you are not going to be fighting this in a normal playthrough, okay? You are not going to be fighting this in a normal playthrough. So if you're watching this, expecting a guide on this, do not follow this path and fight this one monster. Because this monster requires speed and dodge chance. Why do we need so much speed for the evasion? <clears throat> the more speed we have, the more evasion you have. Easy as that. Oh. <clears throat> I hate this shit. Whatever. I hate these monsters. They're really awesome. Even with a finish build, they're, they're really strong. And also look at them staying like this. You know what? I'm gonna shoot you. Okay, give a fuck. I hate them. I would say the same pressure about evasion, not getting higher with speed. But it feels like it does. It feels like the more evasion you have, the more, the more speed you have, the more evasion you get. Also, if you want, you can buy a guard, hard and hard for this to make it easy. But you, I don't, I'm not gonna do it. The speed platoon, yep, the speed platoon. I wanna say the same, person, but it feels like evasion is based on speed, at least to me. Now here's one thing I don't know about, right? I did this shit. And let's just say that I didn't get caught by the platoon here. When I was going like this. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a pep pill right now in case it shows up. It doesn't, okay? He did not show up.
What I can think of that he shows up is whenever you activate the generator at, in the forest, he shows up. Agility was a little different. Infinite Hunger, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect Agility. It's just weird. It's weird for me. I don't get it that much either. But it is a border, to be honest. Because it makes no much, no, it doesn't make much sense, to be honest, with, with it. <clears throat> this is the only way that I've been able to do this properly. You wait for a bit, here we go. Hey, uh, Rogman. Program moment. By the way, this is the best way to deal with the center. You go ahead, you go here in this spot. You go forward. When you hear the spawn, you move out of the way. Now they're going to be stuck there for the whole time. They cannot get away from there. They're stuck there forever. Because you push them in a place where they are not able to get away. Easy as that. Also, this has an item. And this has an item. Also, this one has a boat gun. Are you running? What? What do you mean? Are you running? What do you? Why? You crazy? What do you mean? Are you running? That, that, that's not true. You can press enter or interact or facing a frog to move it through. You can actually do that. That's amazing. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Till I need to run or reload. Hello, Tantio. How's it going? What up? What's up? How should they go in, buddy? Maybe if you're right, just run over them. Really? Okay, that helps a lot. <clears throat> that helps a lot. More than it should, to be honest. Thank you for that. Hello, bro. Run past, I mean. <laughs> God damn it. I, 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 I love that she's actually running without her wheelchair. That's beautiful. I love it so much. You have no idea how much I love it. I see someone hiding. What? They're trying to get the. Pra uh, trying to get. Oh, sorry. Trying, trying to get to the prince and beat him in the in Barons of Ruin. I don't know what that game is. Can't you? I haven't seen Barons of Ruin. I have no idea. By the way, don't ever fight the center. Don't fight him. Ever. Even if you're don't don't fight him. It's not worth it. It's not, it's not worth it. Don't fight him. You know I want to fight him. Okay. It's a, it's a beast. Let me see. Oh, look at that. I didn't know that. That's really useful. Okay. No, if you enter the bunker, you can move left and ignore pollution. No, I didn't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just reading this in one sitting. Huh. So now I believe because we activated the thing, we should have the platoon showing up. First review for the sensor, not worth it. Nope. Not worth the price. To the right, bro, fuck me. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, I, I get that one. 
I was like, what do you mean, live? I mean, it makes sense, but, eh. That's why I stayed up until 5. I mean, it has less than a year. I still mistook right to the left. Oh my god. That's a mess. But what if you beat everything challenge? That sounds like a mess to watch and to do. But I could do it, maybe. Just maybe. Alright, supposedly, that one should be here. Because I activated the machine. Mm. Let's see if it's true. Red virtue will be the best thing, thing here to use. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter. You can do whatever here and you will still have a hard time. It's really that difficult of a fight, to be honest with you. So good luck having to myself. Yeah, Kai has the coolest one, Napoleon. I would say the same. Kai has really the coolest. That is pretty much the fight against this thing. You get lucky. <laughs> I don't believe I'm gonna be going ending A. But I will be doing what I was asked, which is ending B. Okay? Ending A, if you ever get to ending A, I'll spoiler you what it is. But you pretty much get hard and hard against the platoon. You kill Kaiser easily and you burn logic and you win that's it fighting that thing is not worth it and I don't want to do a, go around the whole place just to get to a program ending because that sounds boring <laughs> I'm sorry guys but I think I, I was asked to do this and the other ending relies a lot on gambling and I don't want to gamble <clears throat> all right so here we have this. We go ahead and the pill and we heroin because this is the last fight. That's what. And now we should have enough speed to deal with both of them. But battle zone is important because that way we prevent the coin toss from the second boss. And I believe that should be fine on everything else. Yeah, like, I guess you can get a Yogetsu, why not? Yeah. You know, hero before fighting? Yeah, of course, totally. Very important, very important. The only thing I, the human I don't need to be used for is a uh, cap wagon canone. What does Heroin do? Increase your stats for three loading screens. So after the 3 screen, you will lose all your stats you gain and you're gonna get 
withdrawal. It's gonna lower your stats for a very long time, which is permanent me. You got a lot of physical damage, magic damage, defense, agility. You can also do counter stance and do hard and hard to win against that platoon, but it doesn't. It's whatever. I don't want to cheese it that much because, like I said before, it's not important for you to fight it. It's not a, a threat that's gonna be there. Like the the goals, I didn't fight the goals because it's not a threat that you gotta fight. You can just ignore for the most part. Go for the head. <clears throat> Like blue veil, and then just win this one. Mm. We don't should add an ending <coughs> called the heroine ending, which locks you out of the character ending. It's heroine before the last boss. What? The, uh, you see this here? It's a pretty good, like every single song of this game is amazing, in my opinion. So it helps that you just enjoy this stuff. And the scenery is beautiful for this. I love this game. You got games on your phone? Beautiful. Well, this fight is <clears throat> whatever, it's still the same thing as we were doing. But now we just need to count uh, the Baban Wheel. So you have a chance to dodge most of the attacks. Not the magic ones, if they are not able to be dodged. But you know what I'm saying. That one cannot be dodged, for example. Let's go for her. I also go ahead and get Lichmonger and this fight is actually impossible to be lost because of how much you heal. Chainsaw. Mm -hmm. After guarding. Part of that is just, just a fight. Another fight in the game. I wonder where that church or whatever is. What you doing up here? <laughs> what church, by the way, Professor? This is the reason why I never do Marco or any physical characters uh, run because I feel like they are not designed for mass mode. Magic has a lot more useful strategies than a physical character, which really does suck a lot. Other than that, that's the game. I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys. This is this was how to do a um, massive mod with a physical character revealed. Most physical, what it is, some magic every now and then. Just to balance out on some stuff like black smoke to be able to blind people. The flesh probability to have a different tactic that is requires mine. Spice Forge. So you can see the power of Spice Forge. Um, I'm mostly just bleeding. But I hope I responded to your question. Uh, I believe it was called Holy Jesus? Holy Orange? Holy Orange. Holy Orange, right? Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice asked for this, this, uh, this stream. I hope you have your answer on what Marco muscle mode for physical damage is going to look like. I would suggest you to play a magic character to see how it is. And if you need another guy, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Please make sure to... Oh, Wolfcold! Thank you for the five dollars good stream. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Ah, uh, sorry. Like I was saying, I might turn this into a video. I might not. We'll see. Depending on how you have the time or not. Please make sure to like the video, the stream, if you liked it. Please make sure to share it around and hit me with a comment. 
if you enjoyed it. And if you have more ideas for the future for stuff you want to see, make sure to write to me in the Discord or in my comment section. Join my Discord server, of course. Does Riddle bleed or burn? He does not. But he has very low HP that it doesn't really matter. This is my Discord server in case you want to join. And, well, if you're feeling generous, please consider donating like Colt, uh, like Colt did recently. But yeah, thank you so much for being here, guys. People in Twitch, I will be redirecting you to someone else. I'm gonna react you to, um, let's see who I'm gonna be finding that I can raid here on Fear of Hunger. We see, you know what? That's not a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna be raiding you to Breezy. Breezy Vara. As for people over... Over at... Uh... Wait a second, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes, okay, yes. For people over at Twitch, I will see you later, and for people over YouTube, I will be closing the stream soon as well. So here you go, Twitch people. Thank you again. See you later. And okay, people over YouTube, I will see you another time. And thank you again for your support. Bye bye, guys.